Hello and welcome to D and D Night on DDO Stream. This is the D and D Casplat group. Uh, we're happy to be back. Uh, this is DDO D and D Night on DDO Stream, sponsored by Fantasy Grounds, the most supported virtual tabletop with more official licenses than any other virtual tabletop. You can visit fantasygrounds.com or Fantasy Grounds Two on Twitter to learn more. Uh, I'm Patrick. I'm your dungeon master and host this evening. Uh, we've got our We've got a couple people still kind of meandering in, uh, so we'll, we might start a little bit slow tonight, but uh, we'll kind of go around the table here and uh, re remind everyone of who is here and playing. Uh, so just kind of go around the table, and I'll uh, let everyone kind of introduce themselves, remind us uh, who you are, what character you're playing, uh, all of that fun stuff. Uh, so, uh, starting with, let's start with No Bob this week. Uh, hello all. Uh, this uh, I'm Nobop. I'm one of the developers on DDO, and I'm lucky enough to join the D&D uh, Kiss Black group. Uh, I'm playing Milton Migglesworth, the uh, sorcerer at Small, uh, who is who has a, a relentless optimism that will may or may not get him into a lot of trouble. I don't know. It might uh, it might help him dealing with some of the other people in this group that all seem to have personal problems. Um, Draculetta. <laughs> I'm uh, Draculetta. You probably know me from DDO Players, and I'm playing Akasha Blaze, the uh, just depressed player of the group. I'll put it that way. That's that's one one way of saying it. Uh, we've got <laughs> Mystery. Hi, I'm Mystery. I'm one of the damsels, and I am the cleric Ivy who is repulsed by all of the killing we're doing, but joins in anyway. <laughs> and Saba? Hey, I'm Saba. I'm another damsel, and you're repulsed and you enjoy doing it anyway? What? I said I'd join in anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a fighter. <laughs> uh, we also have Lessa. Hey, everybody. I am Alessa of the Damsels of DDO, and I am playing Rona, a bard with a sock puppet and a little bit of a bipolar god complex, let's call it. It's probably Draculetta, is life imitating art, or is art imitating life? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't questions. quite decided yet. <laughs> Mr. Sweet Release of Death. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> uh, we should have uh, Rent and Tay joining us uh, shortly. Uh, hopefully they'll be here soon. Uh, to give, We'll give a quick recap here. Uh, last time, uh, we were... Uh, the party uh, went into the Cobalt Lair, discovered that it was not, in fact, a Cobalt Lair uh, so much as it was a Dragon's Lair. Um, and uh, as opposed to fighting a dragon that surely would have killed the party, uh, everyone ran in, grabbed some loot out of the dragon's horde while the dragon was fighting another party, uh, and took off with uh, some some nice tasty loots, uh, which Draculetta uh, had this very nice, lovely gem, which he um, clumsily dropped and broke. Oops. In the most epic of ways, mind you. <laughs> rolling a natural 20 as it's exploding is a good way of, of staying alive that's for sure um, and uh, so the party escaped from that encounter um, imbued with some sort of magical energy that uh, is currently unknown of what what that exactly means um, hello welcome Rent uh, <laughs> it is I uh, why don't you yes. say hi and introduce your character briefly uh my name is Drakian. I am a uh, paladin. Um, the shortest, <laughs> shortest <laughs> intro of everybody. I have to look over my character sheet before I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a neutral good paladin, um, which is kind of odd because I think most people are used to lawful good paladins, but uh, I believe I'm neutral good or... Uh, yeah. I, I, You're really good, and you like to punish yourself <laughs> constantly. I do good things, and I'm not worthy. Not you do, worthy. <laughs> you do good things, but is it for the right reason? It's not for the right reasons. <laughs> I do good things to atone for my misdeeds. 
Well, currently you are still alive, so well, that's that's at least good, right? That is good. So, despite your uh, your readiness to die at the dragon's lair. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyways, uh, to continue to continue our recap. Uh, so after the party made it back to town uh, safely, and then began um their their new adventure. Uh, to uh, the party learned that the outpo- the local outpost, which should kind of be keeping things like cobalt blockades from happening. Uh, no one's heard from them in several weeks. Uh, no one's seen anyone or knows what's going on there. Uh, so uh, the party is determined to head out and uh, figure out what's going on there. Uh, also, uh, the party met a mysterious merchant uh, by the name of Demos. Uh, and he is uh, has contracted the party uh, to go uh, to escort him. Uh, he was trying to get them to take him to the nearest town, uh, but he settled for overpaying them to take them to take him uh, and his two bodyguards and his caravans to the um, the local outpost uh, when they get there. So, I uh, think that's debatable whether we're being overpaid or. <laughs> well, he didn't want to pay you that much, <laughs> so <laughs> take that as oh. as you will. But uh, there we go, and that kind of that that catches everyone up. Uh, we do have uh, Tay. Welcome, sir. Hello. How do you do? Uh, and uh, we have a little bit of business to take care of here. Uh, so um, I'm not sure how how much you guys want to want to say about this, but Lessa and Tay were sharing uh, Rona the Bard because of just life. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> but life is life is has allowed them to uh deviate from each Reach other. An, an amicable divorce. Yes. <laughs> and except the puppet. We're going to sh- joint custody of the puppet uh, arrangement has been oh, reached. Oh dear lord. <laughs> I'm uh, my own puppet. You don't make decisions for me. Uh yeah. So about that, uh, Mr. Buttons, uh which will just to you know, refresh everyone's memory. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, the party has reached terms with the merchant Damos, uh, who uh, said that we'll, you'll set out at, at first light because he's you know he's kind of in a hurry, uh, but he's not so foolish as he wants to die out in the wilderness at night. Uh, this sounds uh, not so prudent. Also, you kind of get the impression that he would probably like to sleep in a bed for. Uh, at least one more night, because he's clearly not totally accustomed to being on the road. Uh, as you know, he leaves his bodyguards go out, and he's going to bed for the night. Uh, and into the tavern uh, walks a half orc. Uh, this would be uh, Torix, played by Tay. Uh, Torix, you have been, uh, you were also investigating this kobold uh, blockade uh, a little bit, not too far behind Saba, actually, uh, unbeknownst to either of you. Uh, and you were kind of looking at the front entrance of uh, that had been you know, caved in through some sort of uh, magic, combination of magic and um, activity there. Uh, yes, kind of a look- blind bugbear could have followed these lots. Yes, that's probably true. Uh, and while you were standing there... Um, a blast of blue magical energy came out through the mountain, uh, blew open that door, uh, and left you covered in debris. <laughs> uh, you, it took you a little while to... You had to, one, wake up from being knocked unconscious and, uh, and kind of pull yourself together, and then you had to, to heave this massive pile of rubble off of you, kind of like, you know, in Spider-Man Homecoming, but not that impressive. <laughs> But, you know, kind of that same thing of, like, having to untrap yourself. Uh, I thought it was quite impressive. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, no one was around to see it, so you'll you'll probably have to make a bluff check of some kind to get people to believe you that you... Uh, or maybe not. Maybe you could just show your muscles off to Rona, and, and she'll believe anything you say. Uh, only time will tell. Uh, wink, wink. But uh, you kind of <laughs> dusted yourself off. You found this nice set of boots that were there. Um, and then uh, you saw... Uh, uh, so you followed some tracks uh, back to this town, and you kind of walk in, and, and here's this group of adventurers. Hello. 
Are you the party I've been following this whole way? Aye. In what, what manner? In what, what manner? I mean, uh, I well, maybe, but uh, I before we want to uh, confirm or deny that, we uh, uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, what, what, why would you be following a party? My name is Torix. I was commissioned to exterminate this cobalt infestation. Wait a minute. The mountain. You're being paid? <laughs> I. By whom? It's none of your concern, last. Seriously, hey, uh, though. Tay, uh, we need to have you roll a skill check here. Uh, let's see. I think you need to make a deception skill check. New phone, who dis? And uh, roll that in the tower for me, please. Uh, and everyone else, uh, also roll uh, sense motive, or not sense motive, uh, insight. Let me get my, my addition to in the tower, please. You said Sorry, I shall, I'm rolling it in the tower, right meow. That was, a, was a practice. So Tay is rolling deception, everyone else is rolling insight. Etching, sir, it didn't happen. <laughs> Am, I... Am I supposed to see my own? Well played, uh... sir. Well played. Uh, no, I did not, not get it in, it in the roll. You... Yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm wait. There. I saw it. I saw it in the tower. I, I saw. I saw. Nothing. Well, you, you should see. You won't see the number, but you'll see. Um, yeah, what the, you rolled. Off there. What you. Okay. Maybe I did it wrong. Do you just you strike the. Drag your little. This, the, the shield on the modifier, not the shield. There's a little um, the die next to the number. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Uh, so everyone, uh, but Milton, is pretty darn sure that this half orc is full of it. Uh, he did not get paid. Um, there was no offer of money. Uh, but he's trying to make himself look look pretty, pretty uh. Pretty cool about it. Uh, but Milton buys this hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> so, wait, he's a half orc? Yes. His picture looks Note. a bit Viking. <laughs> you that's, see nothing. That's how he sees himself. You see nothing. <laughs> By the way, Patrick, himself. I sent you a new image, a new token. Oh, did you now? Viking? I did. With a porn stash? Like, if, if Tom Selleck Always was a Viking, he'd be this dude. I prefer <laughs> Burt Reynolds, actually. <laughs> So wow. does Milton see a Viking, or does he see a half <laughs> orc? Half -orc? <laughs> no, he's a half orc. The, the, the thing oh, that I... the thing that he's trying to to pull you over on is that uh, he is, that he was getting paid for this job. Well, I, look, I never claimed to be paid. <laughs> <laughs> he well, said he had been hired. <laughs> well, well, wow, that's that's pretty impressive. Well. We have some good news. The good news Milton, is Milton, Milton, come on now. We really think that the cobalt. Well, well, we really think that the cobalt menace has been uh, dealt with in one way or another. Um, and uh, so, so I, I hope you uh, got some uh, payment up front for that. Uh, yeah. What were you saying? I'm sorry. I kind of. Uh, I, I, Job done. Uh, <laughs> I know we 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 dropped a portion of a, a hill or a mountain on them. I and I was hired to to collect a dozen cobalt scalps before I received payment. Thank you. Ew, <laughs> I've only got these three for cobalts. Oh, oh, you've got some with you. So what? so until I just what? gonna whip out these cobalt scalps here. Yeah, just, just, oh my god! Why would you? Why would anyone? Carry those. So until I recoup the number of scalps <laughs> that I require, I'll be sticking with y'all. What are you gonna do with those? Turn them <laughs> in for payment. What else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be actually, actually come from the actually come from the north. It's an inverted pole. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just to be clear, there was no offer of payment. <laughs> you can try to pull that, but there was no one was offering to pay you in this. Yeah, later on, he's gonna go to the DM and go. So I got these scalps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried these in for something. <laughs> he's got bags and bags full. Okay, is anybody falling for this guy? What he's saying here? 
God, I hope not. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> sure, whatever. That sounds great. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, that's a little grisly. Why, why would someone <laughs> want to cut the heads off of those poor creatures and look them around? I mean, ew. these are just the scalps. You think I'm going to carry a dozen cobalt heads with me? <laughs> I don't have enough room in my pack for that. I, so I don't know. You're you're a big wow. You're a mountain of a of a half orc. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's something you could do. You see me? I that that sounds like a lot of work to me. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe that's something that you do. I try to make ends meet. Hmm. All right. Uh, so uh, you guys kind of come to terms with uh this new. <laughs> Half work in your party, I think. Maybe, perhaps. I'm not sure we agreed to have him in the party. And <laughs> are we well, really gonna let him hang around with us? He smells he's, funny. He's with us. He might as well just come along. I mean, look at him. He's so big. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with your uh, your little hand hands there, Rent. Yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure. You know, just, I can't help it. Lane, Actually, that needs to doing, cleric. We can all see doing, you Paladin? doing that. All right, this is not a New York subway. <laughs> Hands to yourself. And again, I wonder what the heck am I doing in this group? I used to think Milton was the sane one out of the group, but he's fallen for this half work guy's spiel. Hmm. I could be sane yet gullible. It's totally <laughs> understandable. Uh, yeah, it's it's true. Uh, his, his wisdom is not, I mean, it's average, but, uh, you know, for those watching uh, at home can see the nice, uh, nice three he rolled in the tower on that inside check. So, you know, <laughs> some, you know, Tay, I think you should, uh, you I think you should keep the original portrait. You can say you're a half work, the lower half. <laughs> That's a little wow. <laughs> I, pr- I prefer the term power bottom. <laughs> I really like where this conversation is. <laughs> uh, by the way, where are we going? Uh, so <laughs> the uh, you know a night of drinking uh, goes on and on and on, uh, and. Before you know it, it's time to wake up and and set out. So you you kind of gather outside the tavern and uh, kind of get your bearings where you're gonna go. Uh, the merchant has five wagons. Uh, he's driving uh, his own. Um, kind of you can tell that it's something of a, a it's a smaller wagon than the rest of them. It's clearly not carrying much in the way of goods, uh, but it does have. You can kind of tell that it has. Um, some amenities for him and, and maybe a little bit of extra supply, kind of the traveling supplies, as it were. Uh, the other uh, four wagons uh, are being driven by uh, four drivers. Uh, they're simple-looking folk um, of various uh, races. Um, but they don't, you know, these are not um, brilliant tacticians by any stretch of the imaginations, you know. One of them's probably picking his ass crack or something like that, right? Uh, and of course, there's the two uh, the two bodyguards. Uh, and he says, "Excellent, uh, ready to to head out." And then he he stops and he starts counting. He points at the half orc. Who is this fellow? Well, he's he's, he's with us. This gentleman, you you said that there might be some some danger involved, uh, and uh, and it seems like some things you know might come up, and so we figured we'd have some additional muscle. Well, that's fine, but the pay stays the same. Uh, he takes pay in the in the form of scalps. It's good. <laughs> we'll collect all the scalps. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Torix's backpack uh, is soon going to be bloodstained and very smelly. More so than <laughs> so him, which would be tricky. amazing. Uh, all right. Uh, so you guys ready to head out? Hi. Then we I am sh- ready. Then we shall sally forth. Uh, 
So for the first day, what I'd like uh, is if three people can just uh, roll a d12 for me. In the tower or no? Uh, you can roll it uh, outside public? of the tower. You can roll it in public, yeah. Did Indeed. not specify which three people. <laughs> nope, just need three. Uh, so the first day passes by uneventfully. You're marching on, on your way. Uh, can I ask the merchant to uh, tell us about himself? Does he have any stories to tell? Is it, uh, any background that we should be interested in? Uh, he, uh, sure, he's, he kind of gives you some, some of this, some of that. Uh, it's not necessarily um, the most, shall we say, compelling, <laughs> illuminating. Nor mm -hmm. do you think uh, necessarily very, very truthful. Um, but uh, what he does tell you is that uh, he is he's had a run of bad luck. Um, he's been working with uh, this company, this or group, or organization. Probably the best word uh, for it. Um, he joined it with one of his friends, uh, who's no longer in the business. Uh, you know, business was really good, uh, and now it's. You know how you know sometimes some people have a just a run of bad luck and uh, they get behind in payments, and now he's just in real dire straits uh, with mm. needing to. Cause you know, sometimes he. There, this is under his. Uh, the the goods are he he buys them where he get picks them up and he has to sell them at the other the other end to to kind of recoup his money, right? So if he loses the merchandise, he loses his money. That kind of a stuff. That kind of thing. I deem his life worthy of saving. <laughs> um, uh, when we when we're a a a, a decent enough away from the actual earshot. I try to uh, give our fine half orc the overview of what he should know about this guy. Mostly that, so it sounds like he's in debt to someone who's really bad, and his guards may not actually be his guards. The, they may, in fact, be people which are being paid to uh, extort him into doing the thing that we're doing for him right now. Uh, and so he's not. I don't think he's up on the up and up. His bosses really aren't in the up and up. And so you just got to be really careful with pretty much anyone involved in that entire group that we're guarding right now. Uh, I roll perception to over here. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I would tell you. anyone in the part. I would <laughs> oh. tell anyone in the party, including the new half orc. I just would try not to say it in front of, say, the merchant or the two uh, lady bodyguards, which are, you know, horrible uh, killers of men. Uh, and, and just sort of give give him give it on the sly, like no, 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 we we understand that this is a really bad position we're in, but we can make a bunch of money because we kind of charged him a lot of money for this, <laughs> and give him the actual like dealio what we think or what I think. Oh yeah, did anybody tell Torx about the bodyguards? Uh, yes, just did. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he was there. Oh, I mean, Tay was there for the. Uh... Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Tay I was. was, I was actually there <laughs> yeah remember he was trying to uh, negotiate person. very poorly i don't just exist in this game i'm not just a boss <laughs> i thought you just joined us i'm so sorry <laughs> mistook you for somebody else uh the other the other half work <laughs> yes uh go on i'm sorry go on i lost my train of thought now hold please well done <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Rent, uh, since you're yes, uh, you're kind of chatting it up here uh, with the with the merchant here, uh, mm -hmm. why don't you roll uh, roll a persuasion, persuasion. check uh, for everyone to see in its glory? Uh, and remember, mm -hmm. folks, as because you know, let's let's try to say our our roll numbers uh, when they're not mm -hmm. secret, uh, so that people listening casually can can uh, understand yeah. what they are. Right? Sure, sure. So what what am I persuading this guy? To? Uh, just, just roll a persuasion check. I, uh, I want to be very persuasive with this merchant. Roll high then. Ooh. I rolled yeah. a twenty-three uh, with modifier. Wow. So I am very persuasive. Without too <laughs> much trouble, he uh, he invites you to sit up with him on his wagon. That's where I should be oh. uh, in my palace of glory. Next to him. A, a little bit to the uh, to the chagrin of of the bodyguards. Uh, and then, if you would also please uh, 
for all its glory for everyone to see. Uh, roll a perception check. Glory. And that is a mighty mm. three. <laughs> <laughs> so so as you're completely oblivious. As you're uh, talking with him and, and chatting, uh, you get hit in the face by a branch uh, as you oh. pass by. <laughs> 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 Or fine, funny. Perhaps you should roll better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Understood. Let's see. Uh, we should at some point probably do a watch order. Uh, okay. Which we have enough people for a duty roster. Is that what the deal is? <laughs> <laughs> Something to that effect. Uh, here, let me add Torx to the party sheet. It looks like I need to do that. Ha <laughs> mm -hmm. ha. Excellent. Uh. Now, do we want to do two-person shifts uh, overnight? Is that what we're going to do? So if, you, uh, if you're if you basically, you can travel for 16 hours a day. Uh, so you're going to, um, you're kind of going at a normal pace, and you're going about three miles a day. Uh, it's going to take a couple of days to get to the outpost. Uh, I will look up how much it is uh, while you're kind of figuring out the next part out. Uh, but so figure that you, you can change the eight hours that you're um, off, uh, of traveling, uh, you can split it into two-hour chunks uh, of for a watch order. I don't. No one's. Is anyone an elf? I think uh, Saba's an elf. Uh, so I am I an elf. Believe yes. that she only needs to take four hours off. Uh, everyone else will need to take six hours off. If that makes sense. I can take two shifts. You can. Which works out fine since there are seven of us. Okay. So, how do we want to break this up? I'll take the first watch. Well, I'll do the first and the last then. Yeah, let Saba do do the first and first and last. I'll take second watch. Okay. Uh, and essentially, is it a total of should be four uh, watches, eight watches? Yeah. So I will go in the. Uh, I'll go in the third watch. Okay. Actually, I'll go in the fourth watch. That'll be fine. Four it is. I'll if you guys, second watch. if you order, so. open up the. Uh... Did you intentionally go with the half orc? Mm. What? No, that's <laughs> weird. What? Who would even do that? <laughs> um, I would do that. So, by the way, if you order, if you open up the party sheet and go, to, there's an order tab uh, that has the watch order. Oh, neat. Uh, and then, so that leaves uh, Drac and Myth. Yeah, I'm trying to do third, but it's not letting me type in there. Uh, maybe I need to do it. There you go. Uh, and then, so I guess uh -huh. that means uh, Myth Rhea is also on the third watch. It only, it, I don't know if there's a way to, to type in uh, two people into the watch order, so or someone in the, the same watch order twice. So we'll just have to remember that Saba is also on the fourth watch. Hmm. Which I think will be just fine. Unless I can do... Nope. Alright, great. First watch and fourth watch. And we'll just remember that for later. Great. Uh, so the first day passes by uh, fairly uneventfully. Uh, just some some chatting and uh, and whatnot. Anything else you guys want to uh, to do? Oh, it's about six days to the outpost. And ten days to the city, which he wanted to go to, but that may not become relevant. Should we go on to the second day? Certainly. Sure. All right. Uh, so I need three uh, D8s, please. You can roll those uh, in the... Drake and rolls a three. Torx a seven. Saba got a two. Uh, so the next day passes by uneventfully. Uh, and just so people understand kind of what's going on, th this is kind of how I do random encounters. I kind of come up with a, how likely it is that you will run into something or have an encounter. Uh, and this is the mechanism I use to, to kind of randomly figure that out. And so far, you're not encountering much of anything. 
Uh, so day two passes by uneventfully. Does anyone want to uh, make any anything of day two? Or should we go into day three? Um, pretty much the only thing that I'm doing is listening to hear if there are any conversations over between the merchant and his guards. If there's any sort of like friction between any of the other non-party members with uh, with folks. Uh, the drivers um, are very, shall we say, talkative. Um, Trying to think of a good word. Uh, I don't want to say this in a disparaging way, um, but they're fairly. Indi- think of like normal characteristics of what you might think of, like a uh, redneck in the swampy area, like the the backwoods kind of area. Kind of these kind of folks. Very. Um, they're not talking about anything really highbrow or anything. They make crude jokes. Um, They've probably directed crude jokes at everyone in the party. Uh, let's see, who's got the highest charisma? I think that would be me. Uh, you might think sure so, but that? it's not. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, that's right. <laughs> hey. Uh, so, Can I uh, help you? Uh, are you going to engage in the drivers? Because they would assuredly probably like to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> engage in the drivers what? <laughs> I'm just talk. Did you want to talk to the drivers? Sure. I'd like Let's to see this. <laughs> this I gotta see. It's uh, my. I think I carry a harp. Let's make sure I'm not a liar. Oh yeah, sing a song. Mm-hmm. Not a liar. Only or... the virtue of the the so drivers. When you say it's not a liar, are you one. bad, bad? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty oh. bad. I don't think she Actually, knew what she said. Carry... Actually, carry a liar. Yeah, <laughs> but it looks like a harp. I mean, it's a bring small me harp. a small liar. Put me down. Put me down. Why are you carrying me somewhere? <laughs> uh, so you go up to one of the drivers. Uh, yeah. He, he offers you. Uh, oh, actually, give me a uh, per. Let's give me a charisma, me a charisma check. check. Charisma check. Yes. In the tower or in the no, public? For all its glory, oh, for everyone like, to see. Oh, we want to see. <laughs> okay. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay. What did I get myself into? <laughs> Lessa, would you like to tell the tell the, the world what you rolled? <laughs> when After she you collect stops yourself? laughing. <laughs> <laughs> So Lessa, Lessa gets determined to go talk to one of these drivers, Hello. Um, and uh, she you know, starts to pull out her liar. Uh, and would you also, would you please roll a dexterity saving throw for me? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and badly, I never should have. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled, I rolled a two. Yes, you did. Uh, so uh, so Lessa, Lessa decides to, to go up and, and strike a uh, a conversation and find a little bit more from one of these drivers. Uh, and as she's going, she's you know kind of pulling out her her liar to to be all and you know it puts on her uh, you know puts her best face forward and and starts to stride up to to one of the the drivers who noticed her coming. Uh, and as she 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 reaches out her hand to to say hello, uh, she trips on a rock, falls flat on her face, face first into a pile of uh, horse crap left by oh, one of the horses before, uh, and drops her lyre, which uh, unfortunately uh, for her uh, goes underneath the wagon. Uh, why don't you give me a percentage roll? Oh God. In the percentage, that's a D four. Oh, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you wasted that one. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> wasted that. Oh my god. Which one is the percent? Is the one it's that the D ten? If you if you right click on the D ten, uh, you'll get a percentage, and then you can roll that. There we go. Uh, so the the liar kind of skips underneath the cart as it's rolling, uh, and you kind of hold your breath. This is your liar. It's it's yeah. gone underneath. 
uh, and the it's cart precious. rolls through, uh, and you, you kind of pick yourself up. Um, the drivers, by the way, are howling with laughter. <laughs> this is the funniest thing they've seen in days. Uh, and uh, you, you go over and you pick up your lighter, and it's got a couple of scuffs on it, uh, but it's oh. it's functionally okay. <laughs> just a little a little, oh. a little paint paint scuffs. Okay, I um just kind of fling some of the horse crap from my face and say, "Okay, I'm gonna go to the back of the wagon train and die now. Thanks, bye." <laughs> <laughs> and the barbarian is sitting in the back of the train just so <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the hair flip um. Rona that was awesome <laughs> <laughs> that did not go as planned Rona I, I was so impressed with your ability to show the, to, 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 to entertain everybody I didn't know that <laughs> Um, if you want to, I, I, I see that you did scuff your uh, your poor liar a little bit. I could cast a mending spell and, and kind of fix it up a little bit if you want. That would that would be great. Here, I'll just hand him the liar, and I, I'm gonna go get uh, some sort of wash basin for myself. You people are funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I joined you. Ah, uh, Milton, the power of relentless optimism. I know he's just. So positive. <laughs> it's a shame no one has pressed the digitation memorized. Uh, nope. I, 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 uh, I took other stuff. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, does anyone else want to want to try anything for the day? Never tried no. anything ever again. <laughs> no one is so bold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we'll move on to day three. Uh, so I need uh, three d sixes this time. Chances of one, one six and a one. Uh, and the day passes by uneventfully as well, unless anyone else wants to try to do something eventful. Didn't think so. Uh, all right, we'll go on to day four. Good. I'm good. <coughs> Learn my lesson. <laughs> so if I get another another three D6s, please. Torch rolls another two. I rolled a five. <laughs> Lots of fives. Uh, so the fourth day also passes by uh, uneventfully. Uh, you do, however, at the, at the end of the fourth day, you end up camping... Uh, at a river, uh, and uh, Deimos, the merchant, uh, lets you know that uh, all we have to do now is just follow the river uh, in a couple days, and we'll reach the outpost. Uh, so we'll go on <clears throat> to day five. Uh, we'll go ahead and do another set of D6s. I rolled a four. And a five for me. Five for Drakian. Man, you guys are not encountering much of anything. That's somewhat boring. Um, Easy money. At <laughs> this point, I'm going to try to chat up the merchant some. Okay. Um, and essentially, I want to find out a little bit more about uh, if there was a specific reason that he wanted to come to the outpost. Um, Bob doesn't really remember if it was sort of the... Well, I guess you guys will take me that far, and that's not, uh, pretty that's much a it, long yeah. way. Or, or, or if, uh, it, like, I'm trying to get his general mood as we're moving along, as we're making pretty good time, um, and sort of see if he's still apprehensive or if he's in a slightly better mood, or sort of sure kind of gauge. Uh, he's he's a little bit more optimistic. You know, you guys are making good time, haven't had any problems. He's kind of second guessing himself, maybe a little bit, if he should have paid this much money for. <laughs> Uh, it's people that that wouldn't even get him to the to the city. Uh, he's not really sure what he's gonna do once he gets to the outpost. Uh, but he's hoping that uh, some of the guards maybe can help get him the rest of the way, uh, kind of a thing. Uh, he knows that the outpost is there. I mean, he's he's traveled through this area back and forth through this area for a while, so he he's aware that the outpost is there, and he's he's even gone uh, kind of past it a few times. the The road would normally kind of go a longer direction. Uh, but passes by clear near enough the outpost that uh, 
the outpost is not like specifically like on the main road, but it's it's kind of just off of it. But um, some people that that know it's there, you know, time it right, will will stay the night there just kind of for added protection, kind of a thing. Uh, but the the outpost doesn't really have any amenities, so people some people don't really try to stay there. They there's not really unless you really want the protection. There's not really any reason to to stay there, and even then. Like your wagons would probably have to stay outside the the walls. It's not a big place necessarily. Can I use my persuasion to chat up the uh, the bodyguards? Uh, yeah, have at it. This ought to be good. Nineteen plus. Yeah, four. it ought to be good. Okay, what are you trying to learn from these? Uh, oh, uh, Milton, if you could roll a perception check for me. <clears throat> Hello, okay. Fraulein. Uh, do you want that in the tower? In the tower, please. So tell me, what uh, what sort of adventures have you been on? Is it exciting uh, guarding this merchant? Tell me. Uh, they they don't really give you an answer. She just stares at you. Ah, I see. Silence. Well, I can be silent too. And I, <laughs> I just stare blankly back. <laughs> Do I get any sort of reaction? Uh, no. She's she's these ladies are pretty stoic, and you you've pretty much already learned at this point through uh, what are we on five days of travel mm-hmm. that uh, they they're not, they're not talkers. <laughs> one word answers are more words than they want to use. So they're. Uh, can you describe how they look? What what sort of armor they're wearing, or what sort of how are they decked out? Uh, they are not wearing armor. Uh, mm-hmm. They are, uh, they're dressed in kind of tight-fitting black clothes. Uh, they they leave little of the imagination of their physique, um, but they're clearly <laughs> capable women. Not not just that part of their physique, but like their muscle tone and, um, these are are pretty uh, sturdy ladies. Uh, capable. Yes, they are very capable. Um, probably uh, you would uh, gather. They're they're not necessarily going. They're not weak by any means, but they're not necessarily the kind of people that are likely to overpower you so much as, uh, you know, throw you around the mat um, without mm. letting letting you hit them. Kind of people. Um, mm-hmm. They both have a short sword on a thigh holster, and they also have several daggers in various convenient places. Uh, but again, they they kind of carry themselves as though you you kind of wonder if they really need the weapons. Um, can I roll an insight to see if they're hostile, neutral, or friendly towards the merchant? Have at it. I rolled a two. You know nothing. I know nothing, John Stowe. All right. <clears throat> uh, My work here is done. Mr. Uh, Mr. Milton, uh, as you are uh, kind of looking at, you're chatting up with the um, the merchant here, uh, you notice his, he has a very interesting signet ring. Uh, and this, oh, let's see if I can, oh, everyone can have it. Uh, it's a very interesting signet ring, uh, and, uh, with this symbol on it, uh, it is a fist, uh, with a, an eye in the middle of it, uh, and thank you to Adam for making this for us, uh, it's a very nice drawing. Uh, well, that's an awful ring. Huh. Uh, okay. Um, when I get back to the party and I kind of wander off from talking to the merchant, I bring it up to the rest of the party that he has a specific signet ring, and I'm kind of wondering if anybody uh, might recognize that's that particular symbol. Uh, anyone who wants to can try to roll a history check, but I warn you, it... Uh... It is unlikely that you will succeed. Uh, in the tower, or oh, you can roll for everyone to see. One. <laughs> so far, we're we're doing so well here. It ring have fist on it. I got a sixteen. <laughs> Not good enough. All right. Uh, anything else you guys want to do uh, this day here? No, I'm good. All right. Uh, so let's see. We're up to day six, right? 
probably should have been counting more. Uh, you know what I don't have? It, <laughs> I'm realizing now why... Well, usually I use a, a dice, but I don't have any dice out because it's all virtual <laughs> mm. for my, my counter. Uh, luckily, I uh, do, in fact, keep <laughs> my a dice bag at my computer because I'm a nerd. <laughs> uh, right. As, as we should all. <laughs> so I just need one D6 uh, for the start of this day. One, two, three, not it. Six. All right. Uh, so uh, you kind of, the the morning of the day uh, passes by fairly uneventfully, uh, and as you kind of are coming up to uh, the outpost, uh, you can you can kind of see it off uh, in the distance. Uh, let's see if let's. Uh, Everyone give me a perception check in the tower, please. All right, so Rona and Torix and Milton, uh, and not Ivy. Uh, so Rora, Rona, <laughs> Torix, and Milton, uh, you, you guys kind of see the, the outposts first. Uh, and uh, you, you're still a fair ways off, uh, but you can see some smoke uh, coming uh, out of uh, the outpost from the center of the outpost. Uh, let's see. Now, the outpost, is it a place that we've ever visited before? No. Do we know that, if, is it? Is it more of like a walled little fort? Is it like a big like watchtower? Like what is the what so would be my guess? The outpost is a simple stone wall structure with tents inside. Uh, the walls are about fifteen feet tall. You can't quite see to this much detail yet, uh, but we kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Uh, there's a large there's large double doors uh, set inside the east side of the wall. Uh, it's it's little more than a moderately defensible position to which to set up camp. It's just kind of a fortified structure there's not it it's the wall is really the only thing that's really built in place here the smoke that we see is it smoke from a campfire is it from like a burned out nature check in the tower please anybody else you can point it out to other people so uh, I, I will. I'll mention that. Hey, I see a little bit of smoke. Uh, to to the party members. Nature rolls are not strong with you guys. Uh, you can't, Torx. You can't say conclusively, um, one way or the other. Uh, Akasha cannot even see the smoke. Uh, Drakian is is also not really sure. Blissfully unaware. <laughs> is my rolling in the tower? No. There's a roll. Uh, <laughs> Torx, Drakian, and, and Aaron all all rolling the exact same number. Go figure. <laughs> uh, you're not sure if it's uh, if it's uh, natural or for my campfire. It's Kind of hard to tell from from this point. Uh, however, um, as you uh, get uh, actually, let's uh, have everyone. Uh, actually, I can. I'll make this a little easier. I will roll for everyone just because. Ooh, is this gonna work? Woohoo! Uh, wow. Yeah, just a little easier than everyone else rolling. Independently, and it's kind of fun to to check it out. Um, so, you, as you guys uh, start to get a little bit closer, uh, everyone but Rent and Drakian, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. you guys all see um, there's what looks like a, a there, there's people leaving uh, the the outpost. Uh, they are uh, everyone but Aaron is able to tell that they are. They're not actually heading towards you, but they're kind of heading roughly in your general-ish direction. Um, 
and again, everyone but Aaron and uh, Drakian uh, can tell that there there are people or there are guards on the walls. And what I can do here is we let's scale that down a bit. There is, uh, and keep in mind, you're still a fair bit of ways off here, uh, but you can see the river uh, to the west. Uh, the white lines uh, on the wall, that's where the door is. You know, it's it's inset in the wall, uh, so there, the wall goes across the top of it. Uh, uh, and again, there. so there are there are figures on top of the wall that you can see. Um, but not, I mean, you're still uh, a fair bit of ways off. Uh, and there is another, there's a group of figures uh, kind of leaving the outpost, but not, not heading directly towards you. But um, if you were to do nothing, you would pass close enough. If, if you guys went on the current pace, uh, you know, if, Two groups of parties were going in the same direction, roughly, but only but ten degrees off of each other. How long would they they run into each other? Kind of a math problem. Uh, you'd estimate that you know if ever, if both parties just kind of went about their business, uh, you wouldn't run into each other, but you would very likely see each other. A big map. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Let's oh, yeah. continue on to the camp, to the trader outpost. I'm just gonna keep on trucking on. Keep on trucking. So you're saying we can't really identify the groups of folks Not heading in our direction? You and I don't no. see anything yet. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I see nothing. Mm, there must be a camp up You can ahead. tell that they are humanoid in shape. You know, two legs, two arms, a head, where it's supposed to be. Right, um, right. That kind of thing. But, it, you know, it's a little too far to to really tell which of... Uh, Identify friend foe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, so you guys are going to just kind of keep on going on there? Uh, so... Go ahead and uh here, I'll just do it again. Just make it easy. Uh oh my, that was dreadful. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> one, I two, one. three ones. <laughs> Drake rolled a one. Oh, do you guys get to see those rolls there? Yeah, we get to see them. Uh, okay. Uh Akasha rolled a one. Yeah, that's <laughs> Aaron rolled a amazing. one. Amazing. Wow. I think I'm fired from rolling for you guys. Um as you are, you know, you're getting a little bit closer. Um, let's see. Let's do that. Nope, not that. Go away. I'll send a whisper. That sounds fun. There we go. Huh. And... Uh, please carry on. Okay. Um, when, as, as we start to approach slightly, uh, I kind of look over and I'm like, uh, hey guys, um, those might not be humanoid. They could be of the, say, monstrous type. 
maybe there's a wolf-like creature with them? I don't... I'm a little weary about that pack of people over there. Should we tell the uh, caravan driver? Certainly. Tell All everybody to halt. Yep. Halt. Oh. We're on the road. I take it we're taking a, we're on a road towards the the this uh outpost. no there you're there's no roads here <clears throat> oh um you're 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 kind of bushwhacking it mm -hmm. get rid of that stuff uh let's see if I can do time of day no I was trying to figure out how to how to best do a uh do they see you kind of a thing. Mm. Um, I'm pulling out my longbow. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, as you are kind of approaching, uh, the the group of figures uh, veers in and starts coming directly in your direction. Safe that we're spotted. Um, I mentioned... Uh... To the caravan, uh, caravan guards. Hey, we maybe want to be very careful about those people. Uh, and I mention it loud enough to, not loud enough to be overheard at a great distance, but essentially that can be heard in this uh, vicinity. So and that they're, even they're the, out of uh, earshot. They're well out of earshot from you, unless you've like, got like some sort of voice amplification magic. I wouldn't worry about. Uh... Okay, no, that's fine. So were we able to successfully halt the caravan? Oh yeah, they no, they are. stop, and Damus is like, uh, "Why don't you?" Uh, he's a little nervous now, right? Like, "Why don't you uh, get out in front there and uh, go see uh, what's going on there?" Torgs jumps off the caravan and just draws his weapon immediately. His giant great sword. Go oh, home. Yeah. Makes you think they were letting you too. roll on a uh, roll on on one of their wagons there? Can I stealth and like try to go up and take a peek? I'm just gonna kind of throw people out on the map here, and uh, you can kind of reorganize yourself as you see fit. I don't see terrain. Uh, still loading. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I should have thrown that out there a little earlier. Why is the map labeled certain death? It is not. <laughs> but it sounds oh, so much on. better that way. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not certain death. I mean, it's <laughs> most <nearly>. likely. <sighs> yeah, how about if I stealth and go take a peek at them? Uh, sure, they're coming from the, the left of the map here. Okay. Uh, is there... The caravan is kind of behind you to the right. Sorry? Is there terrain in the Riverside area? Uh, not where you're at, no. It's all kind of become pretty flat. Okay. Your mind just says loading. Mm -hmm. Ooh, load faster. Yeah, I've got like a constellation of hmm, seven green dots. <laughs> if you zoom in, you'll be able to get a little closer and see the actual figures. You may have to um, resize the map. Uh, no, I can see us. I just right, and if, I can see the outpost. I don't see a riverside area though. The riverside map? Oh, yeah, no, like I do. It's still, uh, loading. It's still loading. Sure. Yeah, it's still loading. Do, 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 it's a gray screen <laughs> with us. <laughs> it's so pretty. I can't wait to to behold its majesty. Hmm. Suspense is killing me. <laughs> I was not expecting this to take this long to load. Jeez. It might be. Dun, dun, dun. The other load is loaded much faster. Yeah, this might be a bigger file or something. Does anyone see it yet? Nope. No. Oh, Do you have to sorry. drag and drop another file out or something? Or? No, I mean, I can see it. I don't even have like the little icon to drag the map in the corner. It's weird. I don't either. Oh, I have that part. 
Mm, someone's oh, drawing a 20 uh, degree angle. Someone's playing with cones. That's pretty neat. Who, what now? Someone's oh, yeah, with... me. Sorry. That's, uh, yeah, I'm trying to. I uh, didn't mean to do that. How do I make it go away? I make it go away, apparently. Thank you. By accident. Still loading, huh? This looks like a massive map. I'm so far zoomed out that yep. I can't see anyone's tokens. That's kind of weird, because it's not that big. <laughs> Maybe try redoing it? I did, yeah. Whoa. Apparently I just closed it by mistake. Crap. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I didn't. It just resized really tiny. Do, 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 do. Any minute now, I'm hoping. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we'll do something different. It's really strange. Yeah. Let's see if this one uh, loads faster. That one's already loaded. Yeah, that one. Yes, yeah, the, uh, the 2020, 2020 grid, 20 by 20 grid. Yeah, the other one loaded. The Riverside area has loaded. No, did it? <laughs> for you. Yeah, oh, just yeah for you, it. not for me. Uh, oh, I... Just wait a sec, because <laughs> it's pretty with a little river going, mm -hmm. creek going through. It's probably a lot better than the. It's a lot better than the white random grid it that is. I. Did. Yeah, I just got it. Nice. Are you able to reshare it again? So I ah, I no wait. Out of mine. Oh, that's I'm... hot. Just wait. That's awesome. Oh, oh yes. Wait, I see it now. Hey, yeah, there you go. Cool. Yeah, I like it. I love Milton's uh, icon. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks so happy. <laughs> Works for him. That's really how slow your your things are moving. Uh, so, uh, what would you like to do? All right. So uh, there are three the... figures coming at, or four figures coming at you. One of which looks wolf like. Hmm. Where's the caravan? Them. Where are the they? The caravans to the right. Uh, they're coming kind of from the top the left. left. Yeah. Top left. Well, uh, you had a bow there, Aaron. I do. All right. I will take up a defensive position behind this bush. I will. That bush is my... not going to provide any sort of color or defensiveness. <laughs> just so you know. Uh, I figure. I will draw my greatsword. Okay. I also have mine drawn already. Mine's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, why don't everyone uh, make me a uh, a perception roll in the? You can roll it for all the glory. Yeah. Don't forget to shit to call out your rolls so everyone can see how Rona poorly you did. Has a twelve. Twelve. Rolls a nine with the modifier. I rolled a seventeen. Ooh. Night a sixteen with, with my modifier. Um, so everyone who got a fifteen or, or better uh, can now clearly identify uh, as that these are three hobgoblins and a warg closing in on your position uh, in attack formation. Are they on the map already? No. No. Oh, okay. Say I cannot see. So you're saying we came from over where my icon is about? No, you're coming from the you're coming right to left. They're coming from left to right. Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to spin your character. I'm trying to zoom out. It's interesting that today I don't know what setting I did, but your character like you move your character and it's just like dragging across the screen. Yeah, kind of weird. Oh, all right. I take out my lyre and start playing it. We're not gonna die today. Yeah, we're not gonna die. Come on, everybody. You know the words. <laughs> <laughs> not sure um, they do. I don't know if you guys can't see them, but they're a little squares on the Yeah, they're map. pretty light. 
hey, you're in the middle of a square. I mean, two squares. I am? No, he's not. You... Oh, no, sorry. Milton is. So is Ivy. Uh, is there a way? I don't think there's really a way to make the grid darker, so. Uh, all right. Uh, Still in the middle. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, so they uh, they come. Ooh, man, this is these grids are hard to see. Uh, they come uh, running in here, and why don't you guys go ahead and roll initiative? Ooh, that's a big guy. Neat. Boom. Drake rolls an eight. Nice. Wow, Torx. Wow. Four. Milton rolls a 20. I think Twelve. our face is hit. Or sorry. <clears throat> Totals a 20. We might just die today. <laughs> we might just die. Uh, why are you not visible? Doesn't matter anyway because Ooh. my liar got That's a damaged. giant work. <laughs> They're large, Thanks, apparently. Milton. So that's kind of neat. Uh, there... Does that song do anything for us there? No, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she's using Just an ability saying. that she hasn't uh, hasn't declared it yet. Lifts your, it lifts your notional spirits. Of course, the real question <laughs> is, how is she playing a liar with a sock on one hand? <laughs> uh, my puppet. I'm helping. <laughs> oh, what are you doing out? I told you to stay in the bag. You need support. You know you can't do this without me. <laughs> oh, my. I want to talk right now. <laughs> oh, I still have horse poop on my clothes. I can help. I would hope you would have cleaned that off by now. All right, Torx, you are <laughs> up, sir. All righty. Oh, man, I cannot see this grid at all. Um, yeah, it's pretty hard to see. It's. I think it snaps to grid, though, doesn't it? It does, yeah, it but be. it's... Yeah. Um, I think it's his... Movement is not currently set to snap to grid. Oh. I hope this is it. You can't, even that on snap to grid, it'll... Uh, about 30 feet. I can't tell exactly how far that uh, is. So if you use both of your... Uh, if you click both mouse buttons, it will tell you how far... Oh, wow. That's awesome. Oh. What does that do? Little red thing. Uh, sorry, what little red thing? Oh, I don't know what that was. That was my dot, I think. So fantasy yeah, ground see, is amazing. Uh, my... but I do not know. I've not figured out some of these things. Still learning. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's thirty feet. I can't really tell. Yeah, I I can tell. This is thirty feet right here. So I am moving here. Boom, thirty oh, okay. feet. Okay, we your were turn at yet. the same. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just showing Tay. Well, that works. And I was at the same point. Paladin. The same point, so... There. Uh, okay, you're going to move there, and then what are you going to do? And I still have my weapon drawn, so I'm just, I'm readied. Readied for what? <laughs> Battle. <laughs> are you readying an action to attack something that uh, comes near to you, or are you just? Yes. Yes. Okay. So if something comes within range, one of the enemies comes within range, comes you can attack it. With intent to attack, I am going to attack. Yes. All right. So we'll make you roll an insight check to figure out if you can tell if they're attacking you later. Uh, Milton, your turn. How do I? Okay. Oops, that's intimidation, not insight. Oh, when they come to attack you, we'll have you roll insight. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. What was your question? Uh, if I wanted to do a range check to attack. Uh, so click both mouse buttons wherever you want to start. Oops, that's grabbing you. Uh, or kind of near you. And then hold both mouse buttons down, and it should give you yeah, a, look at that. a range. 
That's awesome. It That's... doesn't say. Where does it say the number? Oh, underneath. It's somewhere. probably underneath. Yeah. Yep. You. <laughs> I see two lines. The lower line says seventy. Eighty feet. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast a chromatic orb at the warg. Okay. Uh, and let's see. I think you won't need to kind of move in front a little bit so you're not the warg's not getting cover from you because of your companions, right? Okay, that is fine. Is that if a true mean... thing, Rent? In fifth edition? Well, I'm sorry, what was the question? You your party members provide cover, is that true? For like a range if attack? they're in if they're actually in combat. They can be kind of in the way, like in between, it's not really that big a deal. But I think if you're in melee with something, then it's then it's an issue. Okay. So he's fine from here. Mm-hmm. Okay, have at it. All right. So drag uh, the attack uh, onto the monster you want to attack, and it should roll automatically. Yep. Uh, I'm just trying to decide. I'm going to do cold, because I think I'm a cold person. Hello, kid. If... Sorry. I thought that, that was, was a word. <laughs> uh, nope, wow. that's the wrong button. I keep on rolling wrong things. Hold on one second. Uh... There you go. There's an attack with a chromatic orb that will miss. Okay. Uh, if it helps, uh, where it just says range plus six, you can just drag that onto them. You can also put that on your hotbar to make it easier to uh, to recall <coughs> later. Okay. All right. Are you done, sir? Uh, yes. Just give me one second. I'm going to try to find... Where end turn is, I always forget. Oh, on the combat track, there's, there's a little arrow. Bottom left. Bottom left. Bingo. Apparently, I don't get the ding, the bell ding. That's no fun. Uh, let's see. I believe it's me. No, nope, it's me. I don't see a next actor thing. That's because oh. it's me. Oh. Oh, uh, <coughs> Goblin's going to move there. Uh, and... Hmm. He's got a, a nice sword ready to go. Actually, let's see. This Hobgoblin's actually going to move over here. He can't get close enough to attack you yet. This hobgoblin's going to come right up here to Torix. Uh, now you can make your insight check. Torix? Uh-oh, did we lose him? The Uh-oh. old insight check, eh? There we go. Uh, and what did you get there on that insight insight check to determine whether or not this creature is attacking you. I got a three. Well, lucky for you, he looks very menacing, so you're pretty sure he's still trying to attack you, so go ahead. Okay. All right, I will do attack. And where is it? Abilities. Here we go. Great sword. I believe this is the correct die for it. It is an attack with a great sword. Uh, you want to draw roll it onto the character next time. Uh, however, uh, you miss. Oh right. Yes, I kind of presume. That is a definite miss. With uh, what'd you roll there? Remember to say your rolls. That was a, an eight to hit. Yep. No dice. Uh, okay, so he's going to uh, return the favor uh, and attack you with his longsword. Oh, look at that. That's a 20. Oh. That is <laughs> first hit of the game. Fantastic. Well, uh, just go ahead and put you uh, on 16 points of damage there, sir. Oh. Smack. That hurts. 
Uh, let's see, how far can this guy get? Uh, this guy will also come up to you. And let's see if I did this right. He will attack Mr. Torx. Uh, that will also be a hit. Oh no! And... Torx was a half orc. <laughs> we... Where's the paladin and the fighter? <laughs> they just stayed right. back. So you take seven and points of damage. He... Uh, however, he uh... went to hell. Oh, is that how I need to do that? Aha! Interesting. Uh, now that I've figured out how to add that effect, after I did the roll, uh, let's let's see if I can do this correctly. Oh no! Saw blood goblins are mean. Did that add seven damage to you? What is that? Look like it. Uh, so he does an extra, another, well, he has a special ability, so he actually does seven more damage to you. Oh, uh, I'm already in cap. So you are. Uh, well, I'm at one. Are you going to use that? You get to use that now. So you're at. Oh, yes. Point, sorry. Uh, so half orcs, is it half orcs or barbarians? I believe it's, it's barbarians. barbarians. Uh, once in a long rest, uh, you get to, uh. Instead of going to zero, you can go to one. Uh, so, he's still standing. It is not his turn, because he just went, and we moved him in the initiative order. Rona, it is your turn. Oh, boy. Get out of here. Oh, the questionably hot barbarian half- is, is getting his butt I see my new kicked. half-orc friend is in trouble. He's in real danger. So, let's see. Where's my little marker go? There we go. Da, 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 da. So that means means I need to move up a bit. There. Oh. Now I'm sitting on top of my marker. Not far enough. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I need to move up one more. This is not going to end well. There we go. I presume there's a cure coming. No, I'd have to touch him. No, your, uh, your cure wounds is uh is ranged. She it? doesn't have cure wounds. It's, oh, it's I don't. Healing a... healing word is the one that's ranged. It's healing healing word. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a touch attack. Yeah, you dinged me for that last time. I got it. I hope. <clears throat> we all hope. Here we go. Uh, Boom. There we go. That's perfect. So, uh, here's the maiden voyage. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, I'm a liar. Hmm? You're a harp like instrument? A... I'm a liar. <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> no, L L I A R. Which does that mean you're not a liar or that you are? Oh, He's yeah. A lying you're... liar who lies. Sorry, sorry. It's, that's a touch. I'd have to go to you. So. No, uh, not a liar, except for the fact that I am going to target Hobgoblin number three. <gasps> please be a, please work. Uh, it saved with a natural that was a 20. 20. Yeah. What it oh. saved with the 20. Yes. Oh, success means for him, not yes, for me. Not for you. <sighs> well, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I will miss the new party no, member and think no, of him off. No charm Got person for once. you, huh? Got the swing one. Nope. <laughs> All right, Mr. Rogue. All right, I'm going to move up here and go right here. Man, they rolled high on their niche. I will shoot uh, Hobgoblin number two with my short bow. Two or one? Two. Two, okay. That's a miss. A fi- 15 to hit. Miss. Holy crap. Oh, boy. God. You're so screwed. Yep. All righty then, laddie. This is how we're going to play this. So the distance between here and here is 30 feet. I can move here. And then... Bam! You can actually move... Oh, you 
you could move far, five oh. farther, but that will work just fine. Hey, did you get that to work right? right? Oh, that's beautiful. I, well, that's what happens when I sit here and play with my play on hands all the time. <laughs> because I'm quite adept at it. He's laying his hands all over the place. Why? <laughs> Why? Just sounds so wrong and lay so right here. at the same lay time. My hands there. <laughs> I am a professional. You can trust me. I'm going to just put my hands here. <laughs> Yeah. There's nothing funny going on. <laughs> I lay my hands upon Tay or upon uh, Torx when he gets healed for ten. All right, ten this, points. The warg comes over here in a a little bit of a flanking oh, maneuver. Rona. Uh, and Rona, uh, prepare yourself. It's going to attempt to bite you. I'm uh, sorry. What? The the warg is coming <laughs> over to try to bite you. <laughs> I, I don't like that. Um, <laughs> well, you'll, you'll be happy to know that I got my I got my one out of the way for the day, uh, and it misses you entirely. Uh, so we the go one to out Ivy. For the day. Funny. <clears throat> Funny says Rona's having a bad week. She is. <laughs> Rona. <laughs> Rona is. It's just, just having an off, off. <laughs> so, question. If I click on the heal button, is it going to let me drag it over on top of him? Um, or is it just going to roll the dice? Because I was having an issue. Uh, so, if you... If you... Un where it says heal, and then there's the, the dice to the side of it, if you grab where the dice are and drop it on his figure, it should heal but him. That's not how it is. And the spells... Right, like when I cast the spells, I just drag this cast button on top of the monster, and then it does it on him. But then when I was doing the, heal uh, spell, it looks it like was... maybe you can drag the where it says heal too. I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Let's we'll see. Yeah. Uh, but you should be able to drag it on him. There you go. Oh, back to what, third twenty. Yes, doing doing much better than you were <laughs> a little while ago. Half a round to go. Yes, I don't think I I I wish this did those, but the hit points would actually say what your current hit points are as opposed to your total hit points. Mm. Be a little nicer. Yeah. Uh, all right. Are you done, Ivy? Yes. All right. All right, Saba. What you got for us? By the way, uh, Ivy healed Tay for nine hit points. You can still move too, Ivy. Or not. I'm good right now. Uh, that will hit Saba with a 13. Attacking the warg. Don't make me do all the narrating, guys. Come on. She muted. Sorry, I hit for 12 points of damage. I shot. Uh, the warg is still there, trying to eat Rona. It's a little bit bloodier. It looks, it looks a little roughed up. <laughs> it does have an arrow sticking out of it. Are right, you done, Saba? I am done. All right, Milton. Well, this is not good. Uh, I'm really worried about my friend up there and our bard friend down here uh hmm. so yeah, how about see where his loyalties really lie <laughs> i'm gonna move here and then i'm gonna throw another chromatic orb at the work okay mm -hmm. and that's a 19 to hit and that will hit and then We'll do 3d8 cold damage to him. Oh, donezo. Nicely done. Uh, all right. The warg is dead. Not gonna die today. Because <laughs> Milton saved my bacon. Was your second Thanks, chromatic Milton. orb of the day, right? <laughs> yeah. I still remember you saying that I was Milton the useless halfling last game. time. What? Huh. No, that was somebody else. Come on. 
Somebody say bacon? We're friends now. Yeah. Let's okay, and next time, Rona, I'm gone after a hobgoblin instead of homework. <laughs> but thank you. Oh, right. You too. Uh, what's your name again? No, no worries. Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> um, the other thing that I'm going to do for my turn is take my two points that I have as a sorcerer and turn it into another uh, first level spell slot. Okay, so that means you've used one spell slot so far, right? Yes. Great. Uh, and you're done? Great. This will be fantastic. How do I want to do this? Let's go over here. Hi, Drac. Drac needs to pick a square. Uh, all right. So, oh, my net. Sorry, I'll go that's here. Okay. I, no, I, I just, well, that's fine. Okay. Big one. Uh, okay. That will hit. We'll do. Sure will. Uh, he's going to take a nice two handed slash at you with his weapon. Uh, so you will take eight points of damage. Ow. That one is done. <coughs> I'm just going to move right over here. Does that provoke? An... Nope. Okay. It doesn't leave your threat, is what I recall. Threatened area. Yes. Uh, he will attack you. Oh my goodness! Look at that twenty. What? Oh my oh, god! Oh, another gonna, natty twenty. Oh, is that just? We're gonna. Is that what's gonna happen to this poor half orc? Didn't Are he we gonna have... attack me once? <laughs> what? Didn't he already attack me last round? This, this round. This is the next round. You oh, because okay, you okay. you delayed your action. You go after the ha I, the hobgoblins now. I, I did. Yeah, remember you readied your action. To oh, attack okay. the, oh, right, 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 right. The hobgoblins. Uh, do you know what's going to be great? The next time we go out adventuring and we get to meet Torbix, the half orc uh, barbarian. <laughs> the brother of Torbix. <laughs> Actually, Rent, you, Rent you, check me no on this. Uh, if you ready your action and interrupt someone else's action, do you go before them or after them the next round? Do you remember? I don't. I can look it up quick, though. Continue on. Maybe come back to it if you'd like. Well, it might determine whether or not you get to attack him. <laughs> if you're still standing. Because uh, I get to critically hit you here, and I get extra damage on it on top of it, so it's going to be fantastic. Sometimes you jump over before you do. Oh my god, I've been muted this whole time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was comedy gold. Anyway, um, yeah, no, he goes after them. Yeah, after them. And a critical hit uh, does affect the damage, I think, here. So, anyways, oh. uh, here you go. Let's see how much damage this throws at you. Oh, look at all oh those dice. Look at all the dice. Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh. Dying. Dying. He's Smack. dying. Smack. I'm dead. Oh. No, nice. you're dying. You're dying. Oh, I'm dying. I'm at, I'm at dying. minus 10, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter as long as you don't take more than, more than half more. of your max. So, oh, right. if you were at minus 15, oh, that would have done it. Uh. Oh, my god. You are dying, sir. Real well, my friend. Real you well. You are you are on death's door. I take a take a death save now. Yeah. Yeah. On no. your turn. Okay. On your turn. It's whose turn is? Oh, it's still the hobgoblin's turn, eh? Hang on, I'm I'm uh I'm adding some flavor text here. <laughs> As Torx slowly bleeds out, his life essence. Draining into the grass. No, not Torix. <laughs> who who only, reads that? Only Milton understands that, huh? These fleshlings are weak. We shall feast upon their flesh tonight. Not <laughs> tonight. I'm just serving some humble pie. <laughs> <laughs> right, wow. Uh, well, he'll come over here. Wow. Hello, Drakian. Oh, try it. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Uh, Show a me miss. What you got. That's Sadly. Right. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm done. Oh, look! It does your saving throw. Oh, you have a successful oh. slaving throw. Isn't that cool? Okay. Yeah, yeah that, that is awesome. awesome. Thank you, Fantasy Grounds, for sponsoring D and D Night uh, <laughs> DDO Stream uh, for your awesome automatic death saves. Uh, <coughs> That's cool. Isn't it though? That is very cool. It even it even checks the box in his uh, character sheet. It does. It does. Pretty check cool. The box. That's that's really super neat. Yeah. That is super neat. All right, Rona, it is your turn. 
Yes, it is. I can't believe I've been muted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were, and you were saying all kinds of things. Uh, and, and bring and us all nothing. together as people. <laughs> yeah, all like, about that. Everything's falling so flat. No one. No one's <laughs> Nobody's laughing at my jokes. Oh my god, it's what's terrible. happening? I'm gonna go five, ten, <laughs> in an away direction. <laughs> yeah, in an away direction. Yeah, let's see. Where is that thing there? There we go. There it is. So you call that a sword swing? You are. That's a failure, oh, so I it does it does affect him. Yeah, so I get to damage him. Yay! Bow bow. So what is that uh, that you're doing? I'm. It's called vicious mockery. I think you I'm should mock cutting him, him down with words. I, I think you you, you, you you rolled on Torix. You should probably. Oh, I did. Roll <laughs> <laughs> Wow! The, yeah, wow, that's harsh. I mean, I, I, I mean, I know you wanted your full share, but oh. wait, oh, we oh never give Torx anything. That was amazing. He gets scalps. He gets scalps. It's cool. Oh, so, scalp. do you want me to roll the damage again on the hobgum, or do you want to apply uh, it? Torx, you better I go think... away again. She rolled damage on you. There yeah, is, uh... oh, I'm, glad he, I'm glad he wasn't here what? for that. What? I, yeah, see what had happened was. <laughs> I accidentally... All you, all you guys look alike. I, have been, <laughs> I accidentally rolled damage on you instead of the hobgoblin. She oh, said your father uh... smells of elderberries, and it did damage. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want me to roll the damage on no, the hobgoblin? No, I should be able to... Do You did it three, right? Uh-huh. There we go. Do we just physic? Do we just manually override I think I that did. then? Oh, come on! I didn't do it. <laughs> and get deploy, deploy the manual override. <coughs> that uh, <clears throat> hobgoblin's also going to have disadvantage on its next roll. Yes. Too, by the way. All right. You should well, automate that. that. Because right. of the no, I was mockery. I was looking at at how to do that. Actually, I think I okay. kind <laughs> of know how to do it, but I'll I'll play with it at another time. I think. All right, I'm going to stab him in his kidney. Several times. Uh, well, you did hit him, so that's good. Nice. Yeah, with the right PR. Ooh, nice. Eight points of damage. A very palpable hit. Yeah, eight damage. That's nice. I shall taunt these hobgoblins verbally. A second it. time. <laughs> bring it! You've got nothing! Nothing! While uh, throwing a heal at... Uh, you hey. can't do that again, can you? No, but I can cast the heal spell. Oh, wait, I have Cure Wounds. I'm sorry, I meant to use that. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Can you take that 10 back? Uh, I, I, can, the... I can manually adjust I got it. it. There you go. Here you go. Now the spell. Bam! Three. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's something. It's something. So Another I stand target. up again. Excellent. Or I'm, I'm, I'm conscious, but on the ground. Oh, what happened? All right, that was my turn. Oh. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> I guess this is my job now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are full time. <laughs> One of the uh, hobgoblins shouts at, at his friend there. I can't understand that. Because it's in goblinoid. The, for the people in the chat, uh, he shouts, This beast is hearty. Insult. Slay him a second time. What's he saying? Milton! What's he saying? Uh, he said... Four, nine. Thank you! This beast is hardy. Slay him a second time. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> when you're done, Mithri, go ahead and hit that uh, arrow to pass pass the uh, the oh, flag. Yeah, okay, on the combat tractor on the bottom left. I see it. I don't know what to do with it. Click it. And it's just click it. 
And if the next bunch of bad guys are ah, despotic, ha- <laughs> despotic halflings, oh, I, uh, I, 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 I'll get that language too. <laughs> you are All right, I'm gonna kind of the language guy here. Go aren't you? after the hobgoblin on top of Rent's head. Okay, number two. Nice. Your 21 will hit. And I hit I hit him with the bow for 8 depth. Excellent. And it's Milton's turn, who I think just went AFK. Nope, that was not the case. Oh, that was right. Sorry. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast a Ray of Frost. Why did it do that? Uh, You need to expand it and use the attack part. Yep. And I'm going to use a Ray of Frost on the guy, Hobgoblin number three. Okay. Uh, And that will miss. Boo! Boo earns! Uh, (laughs) In that case, I will continue to stay where I am and wish good things for our new half-orc friend. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Makes two of us. Uh, All right. Zoom in a little bit here. Uh, This hobgoblin is not yet dead, so he will uh, attack Drac again. Another hit. Excellent. And we'll just kind of tag uh, Drac for four points of damage. All right. Let's see. This guy is going to uh, go after his favorite punching bag here and attack Torix again. <sighs> Another hit. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> At least it wasn't a crit this time. Yeah, it wasn't okay. a crit. <clears throat> what I missed, what I missed. Uh Torx oh, just oh took twelve and is dying she again. again. <laughs> <laughs> she is dying. I kinda <laughs> like this Torx. <laughs> he I did suggest to Tay that the, the party does need another sack of hit points to, to soak up some damage. And well, he is doing a fantastic job long. about that. Oh, already absorbed like oh, no. of damage this whole fight. <laughs> Again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the other one is going to attack uh, Rent. Uh, and that's a one. All right. Yes, that is an automatic miss. And uh, Torox will make his death saving throw. <sighs> Hitting! And it is Rona's turn. One of these times I'll get to go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to swing the first time. <laughs> Good thing I remembered to ready mine. So how's your first uh, swimmer drown um, <laughs> session going? Uh, Pretty good, huh? Good times. Break out perhaps, the perhaps Don't Mr. Button him. Should... Don't tease him. <laughs> this is a traumatic <laughs> moment. <laughs> All right, so I've got Mr. Buttons going. You know better. I taught you better. <laughs> I think uh, Mr. Buttons That's is showing right. some serious favoritism here. That's right. That's right. Listen. And uh, so I'm yelling at Hobgoblin 3 going, you listen to the puppet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I cut you with all my words. Uh, oh. He's a failure. So yeah, you, nice. You hit him. Where to go? <laughs> Say something no. vicious, Mr. Buttons. Say something vicious, Mr. Buttons. You look ugly. <laughs> For four points of damage. Well, that hurt his feelings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Literally. And for the record, I go. did I did forget to do disadvantage on Hobgoblin 3, but he rolled a 1 anyway, so... Mm. Okay, cool. Mm. Wow. Uh, he gets stab- another disadvantage next round. Stabby again. That's 18 good. to hit? That'll hit. Wow. Stabby, stabby again. The rogue here is making a much more effective trading blows uh, yeah. than... <laughs> The barbarian. 
Hey, and nobody's kill. noticing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I mean, the what are you talking about? We have noticed. The, That's why we didn't go after that guy. You didn't need any help. The, the Dragonborn right. does work. You do work. You always do work. You do a phenomenal job. You you put the stabbing and stabbing. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I have a word with uh, Torx. You see, Duke, I'm un, I'm in, I'm un, Yes, I, I understand. I cannot understand your ear. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you in your incapacitated state that it's very hard for me to kill things if I'm keeping you alive. <laughs> You're preventing me from doing my job. And you get the feeling that Torx <laughs> would say. You could just well, kill them anyway. I only give you one point of healing. <laughs> <laughs> so three. make good use of this. <laughs> so that is my turn. Oh, what happened again? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> so many concussions. <laughs> wow. But I have um, a healing potion in my backpack. I want to move over here and give it to um, Akasha. Uh, to administer it to Akasha? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure how to do that. Uh, Are you forcing it down? You're talking about throat? the greater healing potion? That does 4d4 plus 4 hit points? I don't know. I remember we picked it up, Ooh, I think, don't last do that. time. Don't do that. Oh, don't yeah, do that. Hold one. on to that, maybe. Just say, <laughs> yeah, save that one. Yeah, save that I didn't know how much it did. I just remember we picked up a healing yeah. potion. No. It does a fair amount. I could use a heal, though. You know, Tor. <laughs> She's only got one spell I left. I know. <laughs> I've only oh, got one right. spell left. You've that's got 19 left. hit points. He's only got 11. No, I've got three yeah, hit got points. Three hit points. Yeah. yeah you're I'm good. Points. I'm good. Don't worry about me. Torx, if you were to disengage and oh, run away, yeah. we wouldn't make fun of you at all, <laughs> or ever. Yeah. It'd probably be easier it's if you guys just killed the turn. hobgoblins that are trying to kill yeah, him. Yeah, Akasha is fine. Go after the hobgoblins. She's a she's not a. You'll be fine. Killed her though. Yeah, heavy armor. Yeah, heavy armor. You have to kill him. You just have to wound him mortally. <laughs> who's uh who's uh the black icon who's got black dice that's Me. tay tay double click uh left and right arrow to get rid of your line that's not that's not mine oh that's not your that's 40 mr oh. dm over here oh gotcha all right i'll cast like um like a flame, i guess okay One of these gob goblins is the most injured. The one above me, the one above Drake. One has an orange yeah. dot and one has a yellow dot. Closer red it gets. Two hobgoblins. Yeah. Uh, and he saves. Well, that was useful. <laughs> <laughs> you done? Yes, I'm done. All right. Saba. All right, I'm going to go after Hobgoblin 3. Is that okay? Uh, that will miss. Dun, dun, dun. Back to the top of the order. Milton. Not yet. Is he top of the order? Milton you moved top. in the order, remember? Oh, okay. oh, I see round four. Okay. Um, so I'm going to try this. Uh, I'm going to shoot some magic missiles. Um, I'm going to do two at the top guy, one at the bottom one. The top guy is the one that's more hurt. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's go. No, no, go full bore on the top guy. Yeah, okay. go full blow. Okay, I'll go full blow on the top guy. Do I just have to do that three times? 
move the damage dice three times? Uh, yes, probably. Does it not scale so you, to your level? You're shooting all three missiles at the top guy? I guess. Uh, it's dead. Okay. Why did you listen to that Drakean? <laughs> <laughs> well, we just wanted to be sure. It's fine. It's fine. If if Drakean were to spend more time swinging his sword as opposed to... Uh, right? To keeping tail. <laughs> no, touching no, no, touching it's okay. Torx with his healing hands... The, I all you want. It should have. I should have done the other. Okay. So I know far too much about Torx's anatomy by now. It's terrible. <laughs> Are you done, sir? I am done. <laughs> Bye, Torx. <laughs> He's about to miss at one point. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe maybe he won't attack the guy on the ground and instead the <laughs> healthy and hard. <laughs> the hill and hardy guy in the tin can? Come at me, brah. Milton? <laughs> I have some bad news. He says, die, you blasted demon, die. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think that missed. Uh... Please, no. A miss. Oh, I just <laughs> roll out of the way in time. <laughs> Go ahead, Torx. Finish him. He gets to attack back. Kill him. <laughs> oh, so I have Kill to... him, Torx. Torx Just Torx half your one. movement to stand up. Do I half my movement? Okay. Right. And gold from broke here. Wait, hold on. Doing this wrong. Don't do that. Oh, That's a miss. <laughs> I just can't hit. Uh, <laughs> in, the plus in good five, news, I can't uh, hit. Tay's, Everyone else can attack him. Tay's first <laughs> combat, and he has missed twice and been in cap for four rounds. <laughs> right. For, I've been almost killed twice. <laughs> yeah, That's all right. I hear an how do you, almost. How do? How do you do uh, that? Bottom, the arrow, the down arrow on the bottom left hand corner of the combat tracker. Is your combat tracker open? Uh, probably not. I'll get it. Oh, so close. Well, this is a fine thing. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you. Um... <laughs> So if I cast vicious mockery to him again, does he get disadvantage or next attack? Yeah, he, it's so it's just his next. I forgot attack. to do disadvantage again. I still missed. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. You are awful, sir. <laughs> you need to speak. He, he saves. <laughs> <laughs> your your insulting needs some work. Your your mockery needs to be more vicious. Try try to be more insulting than than uh, even note is. <laughs> I'll show you a thing or two when we're done here, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter. <laughs> no, oh, okay. not, oh wow, that's nineteen how wasn't a crit though. That's oh wow. However, you did kill the hobgoblin. Wow. You wow. Go, dragon. <laughs> you know, Akasha when he wow. when he steps out of the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Buttons just pulls Rona up to the half orc. Are you okay? Are you okay? Here. Can you talk about it? Can you talk? I'm here for you, Tony. Wow. Sorry, I'm sorry. He has a microphone, <laughs> Torx. Don't, oh, don't, wow. don't listen to him. What the heck is wrong with your hand? <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I'm sorry. Just, it's okay. How are you? Just, how is, how is death? How was what death? <laughs> Did you see what? anything? Any lights? Any I'm dead still relatives? I'm seeing lights. Okay. <laughs> Did you have a sweet feeling that came over you? No, I feel miserable. No. No. <laughs> oh. So that's 
Great. Where are we going? What are we? What's going on now? I mean, all right. So you we... have you have slain these attackers. Uh, and let's see, what did I do with that? Anything good on their dead bodies? Ah, I'm so glad you asked. That's a fantastic question. Uh, go ahead and roll an investigation check. You want it out or in the tower? Oh, you can show it for all the world to see. Uh, Saba yep, finds I nothing of note. <laughs> 17. <laughs> Because you're a rogue, you should find stuff. One would, one would hope so, right? That you would find. Uh, wow, Rona rolled a nineteen. Find some treasure. I don't know. The Bard's showing me up I, over here. I sometimes do part time as a CSI. For... <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so, Akasha, why don't you roll me a D hundred? A D hundred, eh? Uh, why is it not letting me? It's not letting me do that. Uh, uh, do a right, right click, click on the D10 and do a percentage. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, but it's not letting me do it. Oh, there it goes. No, let me do it. Oh, hold, please. I just did something that's Lagging it out of it. 61. Okay. Let's see. You find... Ooh. Fantasy Grants is not responding. Uh, it's probably on my Give end. it a he... second. <clears throat> yeah, give I'm, it a mine. Masked, out for a I second. masked something, so it, it locked up on my side. Uh, you find seven... Uh, I actually don't know what EP stands for. <laughs> but EP. Electro. Like, oh, Electro. Electro. Yeah. Yeah, you find seven of those. <laughs> yeah. That's the only one. Wow, I didn't even think this was a real currency anymore. <laughs> I thought they got this uh, rid of this two editions ago. <laughs> well, they what are it. editions? So I'll put that into your party sheet for you. <laughs> Uh, and there you go. Uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> as you you're now close enough, uh, one, uh, everyone, make me a perception check uh, with advantage, please. Who? Everyone? Everybody. Do I just roll? Everyone twice who's or still everyone's... alive. Uh, you can press the advantage button in the lower left. There's right. an advantage disadvantage toggle at the bottom, and then roll your perception. See, we got a couple 16s, okay. a 17, a 15. I don't know how to do that then. In the bottom left hand corner of the screen, there's an advantage disadvantage toggle. It's, it it's doesn't matter. She rolled a 20. Oh, well, there you go. Well, she if rolled a 17, you... actually. She could have rolled a little bit higher, but. Um, okay, <laughs> so let's see if this. Oh, I see it. Works. Yes. What do you click on that? Right, you click the advantage and it lights up, and then you roll whatever whatever uh, you roll will be on advantage. It's not doing it correctly. Um, so, Aka um, sorry, not Akasha. Um, Ivy is from this distance able to get a pretty darn good look at uh, the outpost. Uh, and I'll up share that again with folks. Um, so you are to the south of this. Um, and Ivy sees that the guards on top of the outpost are, in fact, goblins. Mm. Mm. Great. Uh, as well as a hobgoblin. A couple hobgoblins. Uh, so... Uh, I'm going to go AFK for a moment, and I will let you guys decide what you want to do. Siege warfare! <laughs> I have no siege engines. Oh, well, that, that shoots that idea. <laughs> All right. Parlay? 
Uh, Kill them all. Well, yeah, so it's the guy with three hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Do we maybe camp a a, a, a safe distance and then uh, go in and uh, uh, go in and see if we can do something? Or yeah, you, you yeah, guys no, we absolutely need a long rest. Yeah, I could use a little rest in the middle of the day near a. Uh, well, that's that we go like this. I don't think that's a lot. We 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 go we go away to find a we we gotta we gotta rest. Well, we'll have to see what our benefactors have to say about oh, that. Oh, that's true. He's got a he's got a time schedule. Well, I am our job of... to get him to the outpost. No, uh, we were taking him as far as the outpost. He's got first. Yeah, our job was to take him. Yeah, to... he's here. Here we now, are. Now, so I say we get more money out of him. Uh, <laughs> we've ta- we brought him here. He wants us to defend hey, him after we get here. Any money. <laughs> well, if we renegotiate this deal, we do. <laughs> Listen, uh, the, 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 the negotiation was a little ham fisted the first time. <laughs> so maybe we have not advantage the... now. Uh, what? That we're horribly injured and he has two assassins <laughs> with him? Yeah, yeah, there's a real advantage to that. Um, I, I think if we can explain to him that you know we're more than willing to 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 firm up this our end of the bargain, which was to go to the, this particular place and 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 hold back and and and, and reclaim it, uh, he'd be willing to do so. We just have to actually ask. If he knows that there are hobgoblins and goblins here, maybe he's looking for them. Was your deal to take back an outpost, or was it? No, I'm confused. He wanted to go farther than here. We agreed to. We wanted to come to here, so we said, "Okay, we're going the same way. We're only going this far. You keep going, and we'll get you this far. Right. Our deal is done. Our our, our job is done. Our job is done. We're going to collect our money and say, have a safe trip the rest of the way. Goodbye. He was going further. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Back. Hello, back. So, what you guys gonna do? Welcome back. We're still arguing about it. <laughs> discussing, discussing. I, 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 we can absolutely present that as an option, and then uh, kind of see option. where it goes. That's from. how it is. We agreed to get him. We agreed we would get him, Take as, him far as far as here. Here, and we were gonna part ways here. That was okay. our job. So, DM, if you could take over the, the role of the merchant. So, what is the merchant thinking now? Uh, the merchant is back a ways. He has no idea what's going on. Other than All he right, can, so he can vaguely see that you guys are victorious. So, I say Drake. We show him the fallout of this battle. No, Draken is our spokesperson, right? Mm, well, no, but I will say, well, I've been talking to him. So, I say, so, merchant, this is where we, cro- this is where we leave, uh, leave you. Thank you for the journey, and uh, we, we we like to be paid now. Thank you. Leave me? What do you mean, leave me? I'm not this yet to the, the outpost. Uh, well, the outpost is clearly open, so you won't be going there. Well, then you will not be paid. <laughs> hmm. Let's I have take a, him to the I outpost a, and leave him then. <laughs> I have a very smug look in, the, in behind. I'm like. <laughs> Are you a paladin or not? Do you honor your bargains? Uh, the, the, the deal the deal was that we take you as far as the outpost, yeah? Yeah. Have this you taken me as far as the outpost? It is there before us. Go and well, take it back. Take you to the outpost and leave him, like I said. I will take you to the outpost and give you to the hobgoblins then, yeah? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a couple uh, of goblins. The... Just this is what I am <laughs> paying you for. No, it's not. No, actually, you didn't sir. really specify that. Sir, <laughs> if, uh, what kind of merchant are you? If you go back on your word, yeah, the the deal was we would take you as far as here, and we were part ways. Now uh, you are going to go on to your thing. You're you're further, further, uh, but that is not our concern. Yeah. Now, we'll take over this outpost 
uh, and smites the evil. But that is not part of our bargain. We get paid by you. And you get paid when I have a place to sleep tonight and some soldiers to find. <laughs> so I look back at the party and I, <laughs> and I just shrug. I mean, I have every intention of storming the castle because that's what I do. Because he's a paladin and he... So and we, the, we, pull, the... we indicate for Draken to come back to us. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, and, he's you know. not going to honor the bargain because he's so... a crooked merchant, right? Well, so I would say that if we just so walk off as if we're not going to take the gold, he'll still be at the mercy of these goblins. Which, at which point he's he's caught between paying us gold or being captured and probably killed. But you see, good sir, the the point being there's evil and it needs to be smitten. We can still smite your evil. We, yeah. we can also get paid in the process. He's the king uh, of smitten. Uh, <laughs> or what we can say is, hey, before we enter there, we would like to we would like to rest. Ah, fair enough. And then we can go ahead and deal with that, and then yeah. just make sure you save a we save a little bit in in regards when we have to beat up the merchant and uh, his two bodyguards and all of his his mooks. Like, yeah, I those say... bodyguards have it coming. I say we those moves don't to have his tough. bodyguards join us. Guys, no, uh, come no one... on, Milton. You wouldn't be in the party if you didn't want to do some violence. Listen, <laughs> I'm, just, was gonna I'm, just, I'm just saying that I'm pretty sure that those bodyguards are not his bodyguards. They're a whole, they're two heavily, uh, heavily armed uh, thugs for Which whoever. Which is why his... we should probably kill them. <laughs> But, but, I think... but they probably work for the person who is intimidating him to do this job. Like they're that entire rung of of organized crime higher than what we're 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 normally dealing with. Guys, there aren't even any doors on the outposts that have been busted off their hinges. I believe the white lines are where the two fifteen foot doors are. Yeah. So uh, the yeah, but the the doors are like that's where the doors would are. But they've been smashed open. Uh, Patrick. Yes. Uh, are we in a position to find a place where we can safely rest, or at least rest? I mean, there's with... not a lot of terrain to hide in, but uh, like we would, we would probably have are to loot. somewhat in in view of the of the outpost. Like you can see that it doesn't look like anyone there has has spotted you guys. But right, could we retreat? To a defensible area, get a long rest, and then make a day of it tomorrow. Uh, that I would like be it. an option. We'll pack yes. a lunch. <laughs> we'll stay all day. Because I sure... say we we rest for the the remainder of this day, and then at night we storm the castle, so to speak. Well, I could do that too, as long as it's eight hours of rest. Uh, well, it's only been. I think you have to take like twelve. Isn't there like a limited eight? House? Eight. Eight hours of non strenuous activity. Yeah, but don't is there a is there a buffer period where you have to No. There is yeah, nothing was... right. Uh, your choice, discretion. certainly, but I mean uh you can you can take a long rest at any point as long as it is eight hours of uninterrupted, non strenuous activity. Uh nothing well it's than... been about eight hours yeah. since you set out, so we'll say you need to take uh it you need I will house rule that you need to have at least 12 hours in between your rests, uh, to oh, your okay. long rests. Uh, however, uh, you can take a long rest if you would choose to do that. What say you folks? I, I would say that we should make sure that the merchant's okay with us uh, getting ourselves to a point where we're uh, to, to falling back and doing it, uh, and then doing so. I think at this point, merchant is out. Of yeah, I don't think he tells us what to do. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'd like to get paid. If we're going to take the fort, we might as well get paid for it. I'm not sure we won't yeah. have to beat them up to get paid from him. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's that. Well, that's fine. That's the next problem. <laughs> so... I love Milton's attitude. What are the <laughs> terms so... of your payment? All right, so you're gonna 
going to try to retreat a little distance and, and find a more defensible position kind of thing? Yes. That's my, my suggestion. Uh, you know, we'll take watches, you know. Well, I'm down to one spell, and Tay is, like, almost dead, or Torix is almost dead, so, and the dragon is not feeling very well, so I'm for that. Yeah, and they can do the, uh, use the rest mechanic to get hit points back, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can definitely use a short rest mechanic to get some some stuff back, too, if you would like. And in fact, I can do a short rest. Boom. Uh, so if you want to use the hit die mechanic to get some hit points back, Torx, uh, that would be an option for you now before you start resting. Do I roll both of them, then? Uh, if you... I think you can use any number. Up to your max. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, All right. Okay. Uh, and I shared a map with you, so hopefully it will populate uh, soon-ish. Uh, I figure I'll do that while it's... Uh, are we done with that Riverside area map? Uh, for now, yes. Should uh, my HP be at what is it? Seventeen? You recovered fourteen out, of, and you had twenty-seven wounds, so you're at the right spot. Oh, I see. It's counting backwards. Okay. Yes. I'm just gonna throw some figures out here. When you guys get that map, you can kind of move yourself around where you would like to be. And I'm going to throw up the... So the merchant does not take much persuading at all. He, uh, you've made great time so far, and he, he he's got a little, a, a, a just enough margin of error here that he's he's fine with this plan. He was planning on spending the night here anyways. So, you know, taking the taking the fort by night, great plan, love it, no uh, no problem whatsoever. Let me just uh, throw out a couple figures here. All right, well, that stuff populates. I'm going to be AFK. Be right back. Sure. <clears throat> I'm just going to throw the wagons in here. Grab some water. I'll be right back. Okay. And you guys can, uh, once the map spawns for you guys, you can kind of move stuff around uh, to how you would like to defend. It's like we're not going to get a, an, an uninterrupted uh, long rest or something. <laughs> you You think? <laughs> why, why do one, I... one of us was hoping for that. What is all this? Uh, so, uh, you got a merchant. Oh, okay. Uh, and you got the two bodyguards. The C's are the drivers. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the W's are the wagons. Wagon, 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 wagon. Okay. You have a map yet? Yes, I do. It's fantastic. I like it. Are those trees passable? Is that or is that considered rough terrain? Um, you can. The wagons can't occupy a tree. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, uh, the like you can kind of hide underneath them or pseudo hide underneath them. Mm-hmm. 
Well, well, I was just asking as far as movement. If it's rough terrain, then it's a movement penalty. No, it's not rough terrain. Okay. Okie dokie. Hmm, interesting. Is everyone back yet? I am back. <clears throat> just swing into the air. You hacking well, the trees uh, here or something? Well, no, I'm just uh, trying to see if there's any way to to edit the mechanic to oh. incorporate my um, greater weapon fighting, but I don't think there is. Uh, yeah, I have not figured out a good way of doing that. You just kind of have to re-roll right. the die and manually mm -hmm. add the difference. Right. So if that's the case, <clears throat> if I were to roll that in combat, that one gets re-rolled, so it would become... And I would need to three. add two damage. Right. What about adding it under uh, your abilities tab? Um, what do you mean? You well, I don't know what the code is to do that though. Right, right. It's it's a it's a it's a weird mechanic. Any ones or twos I have to an actual coding line that you would have to put in. You can't just. It's not a straight modifier. Right. I'm back. Welcome back. So all of your <clears throat> figures are on the on the screen here. So uh, have that. Uh, Circling the wagons, as it were. Unless you want me to arbitrarily do it at your det to your detriment. No, no, I, I'm perfectly cool with that. With me organizing them to your detriment? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you can move the wagons around, too. They don't necessarily have to be in that orientation. They're all up in the trees. <laughs> okay, right. once you guys finish moving the wagons around. So wagons or WC is what? The, the drivers. Chair, uh, the drivers. Okay. The big W is uh, the merchant. Uh, they were, they're supposed to be more or less the same size. <laughs> okay. But I have to manually size them, so. Oh, okay. Well, you can leave the one bigger just so we know which one's the merchants. Well, uh, so what I was thinking is that maybe if we did some sort of square and put the uh, put the other guys in the middle, uh, the yeah. the caravan guys. Yeah, Milton, why don't you do that? Just don't grab all the. Usually circle it up. You guys not wa watch westerns? <laughs> <laughs> Always do a circle. The most defensive uh, position. I, I understand. But it's okay. That is an approximation That's of a pentacle, which <laughs> is pentacle. as good as you're going to get with five <laughs> objects. It's a pentacle. Ah, all right, time to rhombus the wagons. <laughs> well, rhombus would be a four sided figure. Uh, no, that's true. <laughs> but nice try. <laughs> I was thinking one of them. You all are nerds. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I still like Pentacle a lot. <laughs> so my question here is, uh, are you going oh, to light a campfire? Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. No? I'll mm. take last watch. I need to rest up. Is this, is this, oh, this is our short rest. No, it's a long rest. Oh, is it? Yeah, we're long resting now. We burned a short rest just to, so we weren't like walking into. I mean, you had a short rest worth of yeah, time, we so had that's a not, a, not yeah. an issue here. Right, right, right. But uh, yeah, we are circling the wagons. We're you know. Rona. Pentagramming the what? wagons. What? 
Get away from him. <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. Wow. I can we see you across. <laughs> what? There's a campfire? Excellent. <laughs> we, we don't there have is a campfire. We, there is no campfire. I'm but I cold. can see you in Wait, the dark. Where did he go? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I need a, I need a rest. Creeping him out. <laughs> yeah, he's like I can't wow. take this girl. Yeah. All right, are you guys happy? Bad. I am happy. Uh, do we want Drakian to be a little dragon. further in? Uh, <laughs> uh, I was gonna be in this crossroads, but I I could be back closer to you. But I mean, uh, I always take for who's doing first. I'm watch first watch. Uh, it, well, I thought I was first watch with Saba. Yeah, right, we'll do so... the same watch schedule. Oh, okay. Yeah, same so watch schedule. Cool. Yeah. So put yeah. your put yourselves in the first watch orientation. All right. This is where I am for the first watch. Where are the first watchers at? <laughs> I'm guarding the front. I guess I'll take last watch then, since I need to rest up a bit. No one gets. No one recovers until the the whole eight hours is yeah. done. Doesn't matter what oh, watch okay, you're on. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then I'll take second, like we did before. Uh. Okay. Uh, so those who are on the first watch, uh, please roll a perception check. Dun, dun, dun. I rolled a 16. Drake rolled a 15. And the DM keeps rolling, rolling, rolling. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so sorry, no, you guys I... got a 16 and a 15. I. Uh, During the first watch. Yes. Alright. Uh, and you both got it, so that makes that a little easier. Uh, so... What's that D up there? Oh, it's the driver? Shh, no. you're asleep. Not necessarily asleep, just not actively watching. Uh, so you guys see um, stalking towards you a pack of wolves. Uh, the D being a, a much larger uh, wolf. Oh, there's no description on that. Uh, the the D is a is a dire wolf, um, and the other ones are just normal look normal wolfy like. Uh, as soon as I see it, I sound the alarm. Okay, uh, roll for initiative. And again, I'll be last. Yeah, what's with those initiative rolls there? Ooh, not last. Not God. last. Whoa. Uh, so you sound the alarm. Uh, so we'll say that it's going to take uh, one round for the people who are not on watch to be able to act. Uh, or Fair enough. Let me that. Uh, anyone not on first watch gets a move action, uh, but cannot take a full round, uh, standard action. Till the beginning of the next turn. Correct. Fair. Uh, and Mr. Rent, uh, you mm -hmm. are first. Yeah, oh, hey, look, they all disappeared. Uh, yeah, I see that. that. Yeah. Hang on. Stand by. Well done, Drakey. You got rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only it was that easy. There you go. That sweet, but, sweet XP. But as a note, I, I would like to, to, to mention that I love how we just gave her a whole bunch of crap about cuddling up with the half orc, but her cuddling up with the uh, dragonborn totally. Okay. <laughs> They're warm. No one cares. <laughs> he breathes fire. His warm breath. <laughs> His warm breath. All right. Might smell like fish. In the wayward adventurer. <laughs> I can hardly tell. That's thirty-five feet. Hard to good. Aww. That's no good. Okay, so... I know, I've got Hal at <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there a charge All action right. or something? Like you can dash and then attack? No. No? Okay. Um, Maybe it's uh, a feat. There, yeah, you can, but, you know, I could double movement, but that would be it. 
Um, so yeah, that is that is as far as I go, and I am done. I draw my great sword. No, actually, no. I am stowing that bad boy, and it's battle axe and shield, turtling up. All right. Make sure your AC is correct. Yep. I will. Uh, I will indeed, and I am done. All right, Mr. Torx, you get a move action here. All right. And you can take a bonus action as well, should you wish to rage. Uh, rage! Doing it. Remember how to, how to activate that? Uh, I believe so. Let me make sure that I'm correct in my memory here. Maybe not? Question mark? Please. If I remember to do it. There you go. So under your rage, under your rage power, uh, you have to hit the effect, the little person effect, and that applies it. Uh, all oh, right. Look at you! Oh man, you should have been mad last. I didn't have the opportunity <laughs> last fight. That's not true. You, you totally could have done it in start. your first round. I Good did. I, I didn't think that they were just gonna bum bum rush me like that. <laughs> you were the point person. Thought they'd spread out more. <laughs> You you gave yourself as an offering to them. Why wouldn't they? I, your bum I did. Got rushed. I did. <laughs> all right. Uh, did. Are you done? Yeah, that's all I can do. All right. I get. Oh, I'm gonna ready attack. Oh, I can't do that. Action. Nope. Uh, yeah, let's combat. see. Where did I put that oh. party sheet? Let's just do. Uh, oh, let's do it this way first. And boom. Cool. Aha. Uh so Akasha and Drakian and Torx. Uh see another wolf over here stalking. Oh, off to the right. Yeah, just so you know, I'd rather we roll those. Sure. It's more fun. <laughs> I like rolling for myself. I have a button that just does it yep. all. So and it gives yeah, it sets the DC. Yeah, it's more fun when we do it. I know. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's his speed? Probably pretty fast. Uh, so this one. Uh, it's kind of stock. Is anyone going to tell anyone else that there's a, a wolf here? There's a wolf off to your right, Akasha. It's gonna run over here. And Aaron, it's straight in front of you. Attack. I saw it. Saba. And a one. Neat. All right. Well, that didn't work. I hope I can see this wolf attacking me. Yeah, now. you definitely can see the wolf attacking you now. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll just be stuck attacking the darkness. Look at Drakey and out there seven days to die in it on his rock. <laughs> away from human people. Uh, oh. I must atone. I'm going to move you a little bit there, Torx, because you're in between squares. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I just eyeballed it. <laughs> going to attack Torx? Oh, we missed Torx. Oh, man. <laughs> this is no fun. Uh, however, uh, this one will... Uh, let's just double check the uh, the move. Pretty sure we're in range. Oh yeah, this was also gonna come up to you. And excellent. The this one is also going to attack Torix. Way to be in the front there, buddy. Ah, excellent. I'm not even in the front. A hit. <laughs> And he's going to bite you for seven. Uh, partially resisted. And yes. So you should have only taken three damage. Three damage. Uh, correct. And uh, you need to make a strength saving throw. And that would be 13. Uh, yes. And you save. So you do not get knocked prone by the wolf. He's tripping me. I tried to. Uh, this one 
is going to come over here. Uh, let's see. That seems like a reasonable. Uh, Drake, and you're also kind of in no man's land there. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, we'll do a nice little solid attack on Drakeen and miss. Uh huh. Uh, excellent. And now wolf is coming the for big you. boy, big wolf's gonna, gonna come right down over here. Wrestle it to the ground. <laughs> Crap! I grapple. <laughs> grapple the wolf. Uh, oops. Nice. Wait, nice I was supposed to do that with advantage. I still miss. <coughs> All right. Still miss. Saba. Okay. There's a wolf in your face. Attack with my two short. Ah, excellent. You get to attack two times. Is that guy actually on a block? Because I dumped it on him, and he's not on a block. I think you're actually also not on a block. There we go. <coughs> you should be able to... It shouldn't really matter. Uh... Whoa, where did he go? That. What are you doing? I that was my rage. I check check. No, not that. Someone moved the wolf. Up. Oh. There we go. There's an attack. Uh. No, I didn't do it on the block. Let me try it on. That's him okay. Again. Uh, <clears throat> you don't need to. I can tell you that it doesn't hit. Make us make your second attack. But I want to do it on the guy. We'll do that with the second one. Oops. Sorry, Rona. It's not working on the wolf for some reason. It's not highlighted like the other ones are. Mm, interesting. Uh, yeah, okay. it doesn't have it doesn't have the same background. Sure. There you go. That should probably work better now. There you go. Yes. Uh, are you done, Saba? There, that worked. Yes, but you already missed. You're 12 and you're 6 miss. Okay, I will shoot a ray of frost at the wolf on Saba. Okay. <clears throat> It's a miss. And that will miss. Hmm. Do, do, do. What will I do? A little bit from the caravan. Okay. I should probably also do that. That'll work. Great. Uh, go ahead. Oh, you weren't supposed to cast something. You're not. You only get a sta uh, move action this turn, don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. That's that okay. Was my bad. Yeah, still missing it. Uh, Akasha also only gets a move action, right? Yep. Or a bonus action, uh, if you like. D d uh, are we these trees that are here? Or are we calling them like rough terrain, or can we move? No, through they them? are not rough terrain. You can move. <clears throat> okay. And pray tell, how are you getting there? I have thirty feet, and that was thirty feet according Just to the Just making sure you're not error. disengaging from a wolf and giving me an attack. Yeah, nope. Unless there's an invisible wolf in front of me, no. Why? So glad you mentioned. No, there's not one. There. <laughs> I'm so glad you mentioned that because here's an invisible wolf. <laughs> All right, Rona, you get a move and a uh, bonus action. Okay. Uh. 
move too far. Um, so I can't really cut a wolf down with words, huh? It's not really like a you're a bad dog. Bad like, dog. <laughs> I mean, it understands language. Spray you could vicious mockery if you had a standard action. It doesn't say. Yeah. You can so use you have to understand you. A move, just, a move, and a bonus area. action. Yes. A bonus action being what? Like I can fire my bow. No, no it's something that would tell you it's uh, <clears throat> a bonus action. Yeah. Rolled up newspaper spell. Rolled up newspaper. <laughs> spell. Deploy the emergency rolled up newspaper. I cannot do anything, so I'm going to. I use my crossbow. Small as I can't fire yeah. a crossbow. He just nope, said, and no, this is a bonus no. action. Yeah, she wasn't on so... watch, so <clears throat> move, and that's it. All right then. And sleeping. you're sleeping. You're like, ah, screw that. I'm can't be bothered by this. Sleep. Wake me if somebody gets hurt. You just gonna stand pat there, uh, Mithri. Yep. 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 <clears throat> All right. Uh. So uh, the bodyguards uh, create a little bit of. Where's the mer- uh, excellent? Uh, the bodyguards kind of take up a defensive position around the merchant. Save the merchant. <laughs> it's one. It's one of those quests. <laughs> <laughs> an escort quest. Yes, and that everyone's favorite. <laughs> Exactly. <clears throat> hey, at least this guy's not oh. like actively trying to uh, engage a wolf that could cl- clearly eat him alive. <laughs> this is true. So, dire wolf. Uh, unfortunately, I have no more spell slots left because I burnt them all. Um, Thank you, Torx. Thanks again. Yes. So <laughs> it's it's down to just here. Let me X you something. Are you gonna like do an attack action with that that damage? Yeah. There? Just rolling. Just rolling automatic damage. It did automatic damage, did it? I rolled it on the gotta, dire wolf. You have to attack. You have to attack the, the wolf first with an attack you rolled roll. The, oh, the damage oh, I got <laughs> uh, Hold on a second. Yeah, let's so try that again, buddy. Hit. Yeah, so confident in my attack. Uh, uh, that's a wow. miss. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Well, now you know what would have happened had I hit uh, you. Uh, uh, you had a little <laughs> premature damage there. <clears throat> that happens. It's the first time. It doesn't normally happen. All right. Oh well. And that's that. <clears throat> All right, my turn. It is your turn. All right. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. I'm attacking three. That's a hit. Boom. Damage. So fourteen. Ten damage. Nicely done. Ooh, there you go. It's looking a little ragged. You done there? E- Either tell yes. me you're done or hit the next. Hey, you, hit, you found the next actor button. Well done. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, all right. Uh, this wolf is going to try to fight Saba again. Well, that ain't going to happen. Yay. <laughs> Did not happen. Uh, right. So this wolf will attack Torix. Wolf number two. Uh, a miss. Very sad. It, it it had advantage. Yes. Pack tactics. It has pack tactics. Of course. Tactics. Tactics. <laughs> Aha! A hit on Torx. <laughs> now we're talking. How's that feel, Torx? <laughs> <laughs> Considering he's got wow, resistance too now. Bad. Oh man! See, these guys have they get advantage from being <clears throat> being pack tactics. By the way, you need to make a saving. Uh, actually, I think Dex. I can. Dex? Hang on, let me right. try this. I want to try this. Oh, it works! Uh, oh. I did your. <laughs> I can actually do your your save. I'll let you do it in the future. I just want to see if it worked. Um. So yeah, and it did. It, see the effect that we gave you with the rage even gave you the advantage correctly. Yeah. Uh, yep. We'll take a moment here to observe how nicely Fancy Grounds, our sponsor, has done this programming to do these fun, fancy things. Uh, even if twenty-two I, on my strength check. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> even if I even if I did have to uh, to program that part myself, but that's okay. Uh, all right, and we'll attack Rent with Wolf Number Four, again with uh-huh. Pack Tactics. 
Uh, and that will be a miss. Wee, 17 wow. doesn't hit. hit What's him. your AC? I've got full plate and a shield, buddy. Yeah. Jeez, 18. <laughs> 20. 20? Yeah, oh, I'm a wow. 10 can. Shield, oh my goodness. You're a steel can. And the dire wolf will hit. Oh, well, I'll take it. Uh, so you will need to make a strength check uh, and take maximum damage at 15. No! <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. So what uh, What save is that? Uh, strength save. Strength save. All right, here we go. Damn. Uh, you <laughs> <laughs> easily. Damn. Easily. Try to trip me. Well done. All righty. Uh, so the drivers uh, dive Dive for uh, dive for cover. Wolves. <laughs> <laughs> they have clubs and they they kind of uh hunker in for uh, uh something's kind of off here. You get the idea. Uh, they they kind of huddle up for uh support and knees quaking and everything. <laughs> I'm gonna. Attempt the same thing again and try and go after the wolf with my short sword. Sounds fantastic. There you go. That's a hit. Woohoo! And six points of damage. All right, so that's the first one. What'd you get? Got a 17 on the second one. That'll hit. For three points of damage. Nicely done. <clears throat> the so wolf is into orange, a lot. orange dot phase. Are you done? Great. Milton. Mr. No Bob. Mr. Big <clears throat> It's a fairly okay. target-rich environment. Yes. So, do I have the line of sight on Wolf 3? Uh, yes. Uh, probably has a little bit of cover, if, though. If you allow me to kill this wolf, we get a free attack on hmm? I have to land the killing blow. <laughs> oh. Okay. Greedy. Uh, right? the... I don't know if there's, there's I mean, that much communication going on attacks. there, but... Uh, I've got this wolf handled. Attack the other. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, if, do I have line of sight for magic missiles on Wolf Two? Uh, oh yeah. If you do a magic missile, you should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna do one die of magic missile on Wolf One and two on Wolf Two. All right. Do do do. Take two, it dies, and <laughs> one wolf down. Nice. nice damage. There is still, however, a wolf there. I listen. I only got two hands. <laughs> Use your feet. Nice job there, Milton. And I will start moving. Will the camp allow me to move through them? Yes. I'm going to start moving through to the other side to hopefully help Drake in. He may need <laughs> it. As proud as he is. <laughs> may not admit it, but he probably will need it. <laughs> I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <laughs> Are you done? Uh, yes. Sorry. I have to find the button. We'll get it. Oh, you got it. All right. Rapier attack on number two. With a miss with an eight. Yep. No dice. Mm. That's a shame, because I think you were going to get sneak attack there. Yeah, that's what I was oh, hoping yeah. for. Oh, yeah. That's why I attacked him. <clears throat> Rona. Miss Rona, <clears throat> you have an opportunity to save Torix from certain harm. <laughs> and I was actually mistaken with 
that that ability I had. I had to score a critical hit, not a not a killing it's hit. It's hard to see. There we go. I'm in a square. Wait. Still off kilter one. there. Yeah, I'm still. What the dang hell? Here we go. There, there you go. go. I'm in uh, a square no, now. No. no. What? You were previously. You're, uh, make your map up, a little up, bigger. Up, up a little hair. Just, yeah. just you can zoom in a little bit. There you go. Yep, yep, there you go. There you yeah, go. That's what I meant. Ah! Yeah. Now you're just spinning <laughs> in place. But if you don't want to be that close, you could back up a square. No, I do not want to be that close. I want to be rock. Oh, I want to be. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> there you go. It, I, but you know, touching distance. Mm. I, I need. I need your permission, though. No means no. I understand that now. <laughs> Was there a point that you didn't understand that? <laughs> what? what? I mean, what? I can tell you some stories. <laughs> I did. I did about that. See, that was stories in a plural. Did you hear that? <laughs> stories. So there's more. Oh wait, that was me. That was no, 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 no. I'm not. It's supposed to go. That was. I dropped it early. I dropped it early. First she harms yeah, our the best of half work, <laughs> and now she heals herself. I, when she's so full that, health. So d yeah. So do you want me to redrop it on Torx, on, or do you want me... to apply? <laughs> Oops. Did that heal him? <laughs> yep. It looks like. Our bar no, no, that did damage. <laughs> no, 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 that hurt him. I'm not My having a good a day. Oh God! <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm blowing. I'm blowing my whistle. I'm yeah. blowing my whistle. <laughs> the safe word. Fantastic. Invoke the safe word. <laughs> I think the bard's been drinking again. Well, does this party have a safe word? I'm just trip, curious. Though. Quite possibly. <laughs> what is the safe word again? <laughs> I don't think you Cinnamon. guys have one yet. Cinnamon. 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 <clears throat> right. I don't think you say the safe word. He says the safe word. Oh, right. Word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm surprised it wasn't the puppet that said cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? All right. Who's up? Uh, Rona is still up. I don't know. Is Rona done? Are you attacking? Rona? I've used her. No, she healed. She, oh, healed. she healed. She healed. I had yeah. healed you, so sorry I hadn't hit the next actor. I have done oh, it. We can understand Thank why you didn't know that she healed you, Torrit. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. That was right? my I never fault. know. It was just, just crazy. It was crazy. I'm just not having a good day. Ah, <laughs> okay, Falling at horse poop. Uh, there's wolves attacking. Uh, one of them is already dead. The other ones are trying to eat Drakian and Torix. I was like, this is interrupting. Do they want me to me. heal them? I suppose I'm not opposed to attacking a wolf. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not a human <clears throat> or, or a humanoid. It is definitely not that. It's a survival situation. Yeah. It's not a moral Grab situation. Me. Meat is murder. Shh. <laughs> People eat tasty animals, right, let's okay? See if I can hit a wolf number two. Yeah, that's Akasha's. Yeah. Uh, he fails his save. Yay. What happened to those caravan go. guys? Uh, I was changing their... They're fleeing? No, <laughs> I was changing their alignment, as it were. The whole damage. Oh. Apparently when I do that, it disappears them. I'll bring them back here in a sec. Two damage. Alignment, you say, but let me have somebody who could detect alignment. I was just changing them to neutral instead of... You know... Not. Instead of evil. Something like that. Are you done, Myth? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're yes. saying? <laughs> uh, these guys will do nothing. Trick in. Hi. <clears throat> so let's do this again. I, I've i learned my lesson. Uh, Ba-bam. That's a hit on the dire wolf. 
and then take that. What is that? Pretty healthy. Tell the people listening. What is that? Oh, I I rolled an eighteen to hit, and I rolled nine damage with my battle axe against the dire wolf. Excellent. Enough to not make it perfectly healthy. <laughs> Are you done? I am done. Uh, done. Perfect. Y'all ready for some mince meat? Depends on who's cooking. Oh. What? 14? That hits. Hit? Awesome. Don't forget, you can attack with advantage, too. Doesn't Good. it already Good. have advantage? It no. does. Oh, well, I hit anyway. Oh, he's got advantage because of he's rage. Dead. He's no. going to be Adva dead anyway. Rage does not give advantage. There is a barbarian ability that he can oh. take advantage by granting... Mm. Uh, to... Reckless attack. Yes. Yeah, mm, no, right, I don't right, want right, to do right. that until I, it's, <laughs> it, until it's toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Not, not out no. Sure. Right. And um, that would end my turn. Excellent. Uh, this wolf is going to turn around and attack Track with a whopping two and miss. That's neat. Uh, let's see. Another wolf. Ah, yes. Pack tactics. We love pack tactics. Let's pack see if we can hit Drake in this time. Uh, no. The answer is no. <laughs> However, the dire wolf is a slightly better attacker. And a better roller, so he will hit. Oh, of course. Yes. Ooh, wow. Zing, yes. <clears throat> five to attack, too. He does more damage, too. Uh, and you yes. need to make a strength check, a strength saving throw uh, again. Oh, strength saving throw again. You're looking a little worse uh, for the wear there, buddy. Oh, no. Uh, oh. No. <laughs> no oh, and no. Me. Oh, you're not looking too healthy over there, buddy. I am now upside down on my head uh, on the ground. And I can do this and apply prone to you. Oh, it even knows that it was applied by the dire wolf. That's amazing. Nice. nice. That's cool. Yes. Oh, thank you. Fantasy Crowns. Crowns com, our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> good at this. Uh, it's, it's like it's like Truman Show, right? Like, <laughs> uh, all right, and I'm done. Now oh, the drivers. They're not going to do anything because you guys have this wall in hand. They think. Saba. Okay, I'm gonna move up to here and then shoot my bow at the dire wolf. At the dire wolf. Let's see, how far away are you from the dire wolf? Probably not too far. 50 some odd feet, no problem. And my bow, my arrow falls way short with a knot. Probably hit a tree somewhere along the way. Yep. So I will just move along. This is a nice two that you rolled, though. Okay, I'm going to move to that location. I'm going to shoot wolf number four with a ray of frost. Okay. Yeah, what's... Uh, and I'm going to hope that, and let's see how I do. I get a 22 to hit. That hits. Wow. Uh, and we're going to try to do some damage, maybe hurt up that wolf so it no longer has pack tactics on poor Drakian. And we're going to do six points of damage. Still uh, injuring it. I understand, but hopefully that makes it kind of not like me a little bit. And uh, that'll be my turn. Thank you, sir. I think Milton is right, throwing right. himself oh, to the wolves for Drakian's <laughs> <laughs> safety. Literally. I will attempt to finish off uh, the wolf number two here. Okay. Hopefully. With a natural... Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Don't forget your sneak attack nice. damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So You only uh, probably need two, two damage to kill it. But... So I'm going to roll my regular damage. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't even get to sneak. You hit it on the nose. But for funsies, what would sneak attack do? I get uh, 
2d6, I think. But it would also double that, I believe. Yes. Oh, yeah, because it's crit. Yeah. It'd be oh, a crit. God. <laughs> yeah. Divine Smite, Grigian says. I no, think I mad. might know how to uh, look into it, but I think I might be able to, to program in your sneak attack damage to. Ooh. Yeah. All right. I'm done. All right, Ronald. Right on. Yeah. Mm. All right. Half Orc's looking healthy. Man. Fine. Take care. Fine. Take care of the Drachian. <laughs> the Drachian? <laughs> well, I was going to say the Paladin. The <laughs> but the Paladin the is way too far away from me. I'm gonna... So after this rest, I'm making air quotes with my fingers. Are we going to get our spells back? Or... Yeah, we need to finish the long yeah. rest, yes. Okay, good. All right, fine. Just another six well, hours I, within which for, for me to attack you. I do. Oh, God. I do owe Drake Ian <laughs> for keeping me warm on this cold night. I'll allow you to uh, to pass me. You don't have to go around. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just uh, so big. <laughs> you brush up against my arm. <laughs> it was Fuck. on purpose. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> At least it was the arm. Oh, Drakian's Drake like, I don't need to be hearing this. <laughs> it's like, I am dying. I am being attacked. <laughs> All right, Ivy. Like, Get away from me. Let me die. <laughs> Bard is making it weird. <laughs> All right, who's up? It's Mithri. Ivy. Nice. Wow. Go them for ten points. That's huge. Thank you. Nice. I'm not worthy. It's like she's a cleric or something. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Are, are you a cleric? Sometimes. 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 Are you nice. done, Myth? Yes. The cleric of the god of indecision? <laughs> What's your drink here? All right, I'm half How did my you know? to get up. All right, we'll and get rid of your prone then. Thank you. And then the attack again on the direwolf. And oh, so mm, sad. Very sad. Oh, very it's sad. It's a very nice two-year-old, though. Yeah. At least you right. get a plus five. It makes it a, a semi-respectable, but still dismal seven. <laughs> All right. I am going to move, so that's 30. So did you notice, uh, Tay, in your effects that the the rounds is counting down? Yeah, I did notice that. I like that. Pretty nice. All right. There's 30 feet. Perfect. All right. And I am going to attack the Diawolf. Yes, Boom. you are. Nice. 24 Feel will hit. My... It's not merely a good sword. sword. It's a <laughs> sword. The wolf is Fourteen still there, damage. though. All right. And that will be the end of my turn. Uh, all right. This wolf will, number four, the only one left besides the dire wolf, will attack Drakian. Uh, ooh, oh, I hit! Oh, ooh, we man. have a hit! Ooh, look at that! Yay <coughs> for advantage. Uh, wait a minute. That was wrong. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's put that back. <laughs> Take that <laughs> off of the bank. Don't. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. Uh, let's uh, drag the damage onto Drakian. There we go. Oh. Much better. I'll take it. Uh, for you, maybe. Well, yes. Of course for me. Uh, in response, in reti- oh, you need to make a strength save as well. Oh, uh, yeah. And the dire wolf is going to uh, respond to Torx. Uh, that will save. The 13. Uh, by missing at Torx. Uh, turning and trying to bite him. <laughs> Puny nice. dog. And we'll just kind of cruise through those drivers. They're going to they're kind of cheering you on at this point. I would hope so. 
their lives depend on it. A couple rounds ago, they were they were taking bets on uh, if the Dire Wolf or Draken was going to be the victor. I attack with my longbow and do a little better than mm. last time, but still my arrow falls short with a. Yes. I, again, will take a look at wolf number four and throw a ray of frost. Okay. Uh, let's see if I go ahead and hit him. I'm hoping. Yeah, that's 24 to hit. That'll that seems hit. to be doing some damage. Nice. And then the wolf will take eight points of damage. And the wolf is dead. Wow, nice. Well done. And uh, at this point, uh, I think I'll strut a little. <laughs> come on, come on up this way. Fantastic. All right, Drac? I shall move and finish Z Dider Wolf. Oh, oh bold boy. talk. Bold talk. Oh, my goodness. Natty. No! <laughs> Guy. Oh my goodness. Natty 20 right there. Alright, roll your damage. Let's see if you can finish him off. Uh, before you even got to the sneak attack damage. With near maximum damage. <laughs> You're never going to be able to roll that sneak attack damage. Nope. Never. Well done. Well done indeed. Alright, what did I do with that encounter? There it is. All right, so you uh you do in fact manage to kill the uh all the wolves that were stalking you. The rest of the evening does pass uneventfully, so you all get to long rest. Yay! Very well done. Uh, Did I mention that it automatically reticked my first level spell slots? This is amazing. Yes. Anyway. Yeah, my rage too. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it cleared your effect for your rage as well. It's all uh, doing a yeah. very nice job. Uh, and I think since we're kind of at the, probably at a good stopping point, and I'm going to guess it's going to take you guys a little bit longer to <laughs> to storm the castle, as it were, uh, I think we will end here for the night. Uh, so thanks for watching D&D &D Night on DDO Stream. This has been the D&D &D Kasplat Group. Uh, you can check out ddo.com for the official DDO stream calendar to find out about our other D&D &D night groups as well as the rest of our DDO streamers all on twitch.tv slash DDO stream. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Fantasy Grounds, fantasygrounds.com or at fantasygrounds2 on Twitter to see how you can get started with your virtual tabletop gaming experience today. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. Uh, DDO is at DDO Limited. Uh, Dio cast that would be me at Dio cast. Uh, see the damsels, uh, damsels of Dio dot or damsels. Huh. Let's try that again. Damsels of Dio dot com uh, for damsels uh, and their podcast. Uh, Dio players news dot com for Dio players news with track uh, as well. Uh, anything else? Uh, anyone needs to say on the way out the door here? Uh, go play Dungeons and Dragons online. It's a cool game. Absolutely. Yes, join us, please. <laughs> that I'd sounded a little a little desperate there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it needs to be there. Needs <laughs> no one. <laughs> None of you may join. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, D and D Cosplay will be back in, in a couple of weeks, in about a month. Uh, but don't forget to check out every Sunday night, uh, seven p.m. Eastern on. Uh, Twitch.tv slash DDO stream for more D&D &D night on DDO stream. <laughs>